yeah. Yeah. He's back. Damn right. Full effect. Damn right. Like Mantronics. Ooh. Who gets that reference? I see what you did Starting there. Starting out with the obscure hip hop references already. Yes. And you know why, PJ? Why is that? Because we're talking about a hip hop movie. Aw, oh, shit. They saw the video. I gave you a choice between New Jack City, the yes. Human Tornado, the Mac, and State Property. Yes. They already know because they got the, the episode title right in their face. <laughs> why don't you go ahead and tell them what we picked anyway? State Property. Now, PJ, what made you pick State Property? It's hip hop. <laughs> simple. There you go. Keep yeah. it simple. Yeah, it's hip hop. Have you ever seen this before? Yes, yes, I have. Would it have happened to be on BET? First time I saw it, yes, yes. And then I saw it uncut and I was like, wow, BET bleeped the fuck out of a BET lot of shit. BET is like Chopper City for yeah. movies, man. Yeah. <laughs> they would chop the shit. Sometimes they chop even dumb shit. I'm like, why the hell they even cut that? <laughs> You can't say that. One above the limit. And if y'all don't know hood movies, y'all know there's a lot of vulgarity. Yes. A lot of titties. Yeah. Well, strip, <laughs> strip club scenes are a priority. A must. It was written in the script. That's right. This is not strip an option, club. nigga. There will be a strip club scene. Damn. And PJ, yes. to get ahead just slightly, what does this movie start with? A strip club. Damn right. Yes. So, I'm going to tell you right now, this movie does not pass the Bechdel test. The Bechdel test? Oh, you weren't here last week. We talked about the Bechdel test. No. Let me get that exact definition again for you, because I don't remember exactly what it is. It's just basically, this is not a feminist movie. Ah. At. Ah. Oh. There you go. That would be correct. Not at all. The Bechdel test. The Bechdel test asks whether a work of fiction features at least two women who talk to each other about something other than a man. Mm. The requirement that the two women must be named is sometimes added. Mm. <laughs> About half of all films meet these requirements according to user-edited databases. The test is used as an indicator for the active presence of women in films and other fiction and to call attention to gender inequality in fiction. Now, PJ, yeah. from that description, yeah. the state property passed the Bechdel test. Fuck no. Fuck. <laughs> Every no. scene with the woman, they're either talking about a woman or... I mean, talking about a man. Talking about Beanie Siegel pretty much every time. Or there was just titties flopping around everywhere. So, there you go. I was going to say the one scene where it's the birthday party, the girls are talking about how she just wants him to be in her daughter's life more. It's still technically talking about Beanie, though, yeah, in a way. Are. They are. It's not random. Kind it ain't just oh, like, uh-oh. Amelia? Amelia? What is her name? Amelia? Yeah. When she was talking about she saw this bitch up in, uh, up in the movie theater. It was she better lay low, something, something, and then Jay Z wind up calling her. So I don't know if that counts. As a I don't fucking know. Nah, we have a woman here. Does that mean it passes the Bechdel test? Just because they have a woman in there? Like, cause they, she talked about the one scene about that bitch at the movie theater. Yeah. I would say no because yeah. got women caddy fighting. Type there, you there you go. go see. Well, no, no empowerment <laughs> here. <laughs> but PJ. Yes. State property. Yes. From two thousand and two. Hour and 27 minutes. Mm. Rated R as fuck. Mm -hmm. Do you want to guess the IMDb rating on this one? Seven. Shit. Really? Shit. Three? Sh mm, higher. Okay, five. Lower. Damn it, four. 4.4. 4. Wow. Out of 10. <laughs> wow. Now, something that, sur that surprises you, the thing that surprises me, is that this movie actually went to theaters. Or oh, theater yeah. somewhere it was at a fucking theater. <laughs> Select the And it was actually filmed... On film. Mm. A hood movie that wasn't filmed with a camera like I'm About It. Yeah, right? They're coming up in the world. Go back to our old back catalog to hear all about I'm About It. Season one. Yes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but PJ, this movie cost $600,000 to make. Good shit. Guess how much it made? Two mil. Yeah, actually. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Two million one hundred six thousand eight hundred and thirty eight dollars Seems That's about right. Movie. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it made money. And this movie is directed by Abdul Malik Abbott. I don't know who that is. It's mm. probably somebody with Rockefeller Records, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Starring Beanie Siegel, Emilio Sparks, Memphis Bleak, Damon Dash, Jay-Z, Sunday Carter, some other people. But if you're a hip-hop fan, you'll notice most of those names are rappers. <laughs> yes. So that tells you it's not going to be high-grade. Uh, it, it was an Oscar-winning uh, acting acting, here. Yes. Oscar winning performance <laughs> and the award for best performance goes to none of y'all niggas beans <laughs> Ooh, <wait. laughs> he was he, he, he was, was he was trying to act yeah he was I can't knock none of them they was trying he was 
Jay Z, that's Jay Z was one of the best way. parts. Jay Z and Damon Dash are the best parts because they're just like being themselves pretty much. <laughs> they're not even acting, right? Especially Damon Dash, that motherfucker's not acting. <laughs> you ever seen any video clip of him? There's a video clip of him going the fuck off mm. on like some Def Jam executives or something in the office. Ah. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> that fuck shit is everybody. The best, pretty much. Damn. Was, 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 fuck all y'all. Got on his ice cube shit. Yeah. He ain't smashed no records or nothing, but he just like verbally assaulted everybody, and I appreciated him for it because I love a good verbal assault. <laughs> kind of sewer, if you will. <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, man. I was actually, well, I was kind of surprised you picked this one. A lot of people are probably disappointed because I know half people want us to talk about the Mac. Yeah. Other half wanted us to talk about New Jack City. Yeah. A lot of them wanted to talk about New Jack City because that's the only fucking movie that they knew of the four. Damn. But y'all gotta get hip. Yes. Go, even though we ain't talking about it, go watch those movies so that when we do talk about it, you'll Yo, know what no. the fuck we talking about. You will be hip. And you can find State Property. It's probably like two bucks on Amazon. I think I paid like $5 right. for it, brand new or something. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, and PJ. Yes. A couple episodes back when you were here. Yes. You were talked about how you wanted to do the monthly themes again. Like you wanted to go back to having a theme yes. for the months. Yes. Well, guess what? What? Hood month. Ooh. Hood movies all month now because you picked this. Damn right. Damn right. So hip hop fans will be happy. Yes. Everybody I will else be happy. don't they, know. Everybody else can get down <laughs> or, or they can lay down. down. <laughs> so get down or lay down and when you lay down you stay down <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's significance to that that's a quote from the movie there you go and it's on the front of the box it gets Is said it? a lot it's on the front of the box damn get down or lay down I see you have a lot of notes for this movie I, didn't I wrote think. a lot let, let, let's, let's look at some previous notes I wrote a lot like that's from when I did the movie with everything I learned from movies last week mm, not as much yeah half a page I did write a lot for Alone in the Dark but like me and her did Black Mama, White Mama. That's half me. Half yeah. of the shit. Half the human a centipede was even less. <laughs> half a page. Black is about half a page. Damn. Ghetto Blaster, that though, was, is a whole page yeah, because that shit is the best. <laughs> you were going to watch Ghetto Blaster with me one day for the show. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. We got a lot to talk about. Yeah. I didn't think it was that much action in this. I mean, a lot, a lot of shit was just quotes. I can't write down uh, quotes because I'm like, yes, I need uh, to write that quote. <laughs> <laughs> Pull them out of your arsenal. That's this right. Perfect situation arises. Mm-hmm. Oh, they will get used. Mm-hmm. Quotes are like, like you got to use clip. that. Wake up, nigga. Got your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, PJ has said my favorite quote in the whole movie. <laughs> Wake up, nigga. We got your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. That is there you go. If y'all want to know what the fuck we about to get into, that's that's that your, your indicator right there. there. That's the type of shit we about to talk about. <laughs> So get ready. Get ready. For ultimate blackness. Oh. Oh. Theme music. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Did we really just start Damn, the show we went that? in. Yes. God, yes, yes we went in. Well, yeah. Uh, one more time for him. Say one more again. Theme music. Y'all see how excited we were to talk about this movie? Right. Come straight in. <laughs> well, fuck, it. fuck it. They probably was like, oh, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Bow! Ten minutes there into you the go. show. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright though. Right? Gotta get that good Voorhees music in. Oh, I, you I bet you money. What? He don't know yet. I bet you Voorhees is loving this shit already. Probably. Because he wanted us Probably. to do killer season. Ah, that's hey, coming up. Guess what, Voorhees? Next week. Whoa! It's killer season. Goddamn. And believe me, y'all might be like, oh, why'd you spoil the YouTube video? Remember how I did Ghetto Blaster? Yeah, I'm using clips. Oh. Y'all gonna see what the fuck you watching oh. next week because killer season has That's to be talked shit. about. Like, oh my God. We're gonna go from one crew to the other. We, this one is all about the Rockefeller crew. Mm-hmm. Next week, gonna be Dipset. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The week after that? No Limit. Ah. Yeah. Okay, and we round it out with... Ooh, where are we going? Ooh, uh, that's tough. Like, ooh, I got a we do ideas. Uh-oh. a documentary ooh. on, What's I don't on? maybe like the Tribe Called Quest one, or oh, Charcoal, the Beats, Rhymes, Rhythm, or... Beats, Rhymes, and Life. Uh, ooh, there's a bunch of those. Yeah, yeah. Oh, rap, one of those. Man. Oh, shit. That's my shit. Yeah. That's one with most deaths when he was freestyling in I the think, park. I think so. That's my that's shit. That's why Ice-T hosting it? Yes. Yeah, that's the art of rap. Yes. Damn. One of those to round it out. We'll think of something. Yeah. 
you know, we should fuck him up and do the damn Up and Smoke Tour DVD. I don't know how the fuck we were talking yeah. about that. <laughs> well, then, who came out next? He did the Dub C this. came out and did the Crip Walk Kept on stage. Kept it gangsta, dog. No, keep, keep it gangsta. gangsta. I keep yeah. it gangsta, y'all. That's my shit. Okay. I oh, fucking love that, that clip. That would be hot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's so much hip hop we could fuck y'all mm. with. There's a movie. It won't go into the hood category, but there's a movie called with Marl Van Peebles called Rapping. Mm. And it's corny as fuck. Mm. And I have to own this. It's on Blue right now. You might have to do that. I need to buy it. So I can see that shit. Rapping with the <laughs> I in? Yes. Of course like they breaking. did. Yes. Of course they did. Now mm. you got me thinking now. Mm-hmm. I might have to rearrange the order a little bit. In my oh, own shit. Killer season's coming up. Maybe not next week. I got to look into some shit now. Damn, there might be movies I have to go find. Mm. Yeah, there's. Oh, oh shit. I know a movie. What? I don't know if it'll be next week, but oh my god, we got some shit to talk about too. Okay. Or not today. Well, today, but next time. Okay. That might be the next one. Ain't no bags this month. Fuck the bag. Fuck I know what we're doing. Damn right. <laughs> it's funny how anytime something black comes up, any month that is dedicated to blackness, there's no bag needed. It's Except just for the a, Black History when we had the bag, but it was just different type. Like one month or one week, it was like 70s movies. It was yeah, 80s movies. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but it was Song of the South first, though. Yeah, that's the only one I hadn't seen out of the whole. No, I didn't see Caught Up either. Yeah, you had not seen Caught Up. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. And that and shit, you like that, that like a 9 yeah. or a 10. Yeah, so that was hell a good yeah. one. Awakening you to all these hood classics. Yes. Get your black side mm-hmm. into full effect. Damn right, like Mantronics. Again, like I said before. <laughs> and if you did, if you <laughs> missed it somehow, I tried to call the Ghostbusters back to come get the spirit, mm-hmm. but they cost too much. So I said, I guess I'll put it where just a little bit longer. <laughs> so there's a point. <laughs> So there may be another voice. I know you ain't talking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who you gonna call? Poke Ghostbusters. Bear. Ooh, the bear. Nah, he's, like you know, that. nah, you know. Who you gonna call? Somebody else, because we're not coming together. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it starts. Let's wait till this mic is. It has begun. <laughs> you gonna get it with this mic on? Mmm. I'm and a, not the good type of get it either. <laughs> later. <laughs> but I'm going to do it back and I don't think you want to like it. No, I'm just oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, is that right? Oh, oh shit. Yeah. A little yeah, no, B-S-D-M? B-S-D-M? BDS. What does that? What? Is, what? Bondage. Bondage, domination. I don't know. Ask a kiss. Say what does that mean? Um, Sadist, no. masochist? Pretty much it's a bunch of kinky shit. Sadist, Sadist is the person that likes to do the beat, nah, and the masochist is the person that. that likes to get beat. Fuck that. Thank you, man. May I have another? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not all that bad. Oh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> PJ's face just I can't. I mean, like, if it's not like. Nah. PJ's you know, face. Like, cool. like, certain types of pain are okay. Mmm. Mmm. Smack that all on the floor. Smack that. Hit me some. I don't more. think I can. Yeah. yeah, no, no. That's. I'm trying to picture me fucking, and then all of a sudden, like a whip come across my ass or something, across my chest. Okay, like, I might oh, just stop. No. Go soft instantly. Okay. Like, all right, just... <laughs> you feel that whip? Be like, oh, stop, stop, stop. Nope. Right. Fuck out my house. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Get what we're not gonna out. do. It's like the thingy with like the like the multiple like it's got. It looks like. A mop, sorta. Of. What's the little, no, I mean, like, like little, like little. string looking thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The black thing. I, I didn't think that thing would hurt. It can. I mean, uh, somebody was like, fuck me. Yeah, right? anything, anything leather. <laughs> ah, ah, yeah, no. That's a no, hard they're, negative. Not a huge fan of them, but like, uh, most people ain't, like I said, unless you like that shit. Most people ain't a fan of getting smacked with anything. Yeah, right? <laughs> Just some random shit. Yes. Although there was this one girl I knew that liked to get smacked in the face with my dick. Ah. But that doesn't hurt. Ah. That's just fun. Ah. <laughs> ah, that's fun. I had an ex try to do that to me one time. Remember you told me about that? You smacked him? Hell yeah. We were like in the shower and he just starts hitting me with his dick. He thought it was funny. Hmm. Like, I was like, what, what if he was trying to tell you something? You? No, he was like, he thought it was funny. He legit thought it was funny. Like, he just kept like, like, ah. Like, like it's a no, Peter like Griffin type shit. He just kept like. Oh, he was uh, swiveling. Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, he was swiveling. Like, like I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Oh, is, yeah, he's, he was a Mark ass nigga. Yeah. Okay. And we're no longer together. Thank God. Yeah. 
Well, wow, she's with the hustler. <laughs> the professional. That's right. <laughs> Hashtag. <coughs> Drink that coffee. I'm leaving that all in there. Too, <laughs> they don't know you're a freak now. <coughs> I think they already knew that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Oh, is that what y'all hear? A freak or is. liberated. The feminist. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, it's she with me. They ain't know already anyway. Hey. There you go. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have talked about sex. Uh, we have talked about Hip hop, yeah, hip hop. We have hip-hop. talked about this month, yeah, what we're doing. I guess everything, but what the fuck we came here to talk. Yeah, about. right. Which is state property. Ah, okay. the first one. The first one. There, there is a sequel to this. Yes, there is. That might be I, what, oh, we should end the month with the sequel. Right. I don't know yeah, if I like the second because that's the one with the game. From what I remember, that the was is kind the game of the second one. I, I know the game is in Belly Two, not State Property Two. Ah, that's what uh, I'm thinking. Damn. Belly? That might have to come up too because Belly that, or Belly that, 2? Belly 1 because Damn right Me and PJ had beef because he likes Belly and I remember not liking it Yes So we might have to see, like go uh, round shit. 2 and see yeah. if I like it this Get time Get the hustle on with it and see Yeah we might yeah, have to Yeah that's right you're right Belly 2 I cannot fuck with Belly, belly 2 Belly 2 Millionaire Boys Club That's yeah. the name of that movie I, I, I saw Belly shit. 2 before the first one Really? And I like Belly 2 because it was stupid what made you do that instead of watching because the movie? Because it was on BET one night and I uh, couldn't sleep and I was just like, fuck it, let me okay. just... And the game is my dudes. So. Right? <laughs> right, okay. That makes sense. But damn it, let's t- stay property. Okay. Do you remember how this shit started? Oh, first of all, before we say how it started, mm-hmm. this is quote unquote mm-hmm. inspired by true events. And I give them props uh, for that because I like when it says inspired. Because yeah. when it says based, it's like, fuck you. That shit didn't happen. Right, inspired right. Inspired is like, all right. We took some fine. shit. Yeah, inspired. Because, because like most hood movies that say based or inspired by true events, mm-hmm. there's rips from Scarface. There's Which rips from Goodfellas Which and all kinds of other fucking movies. So it's like, <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> Shut up. Nobody was the drug kingpin in the big mansion who died. Right. Well. Shoot out in courtrooms and shit. Right. Wouldn't that be some shit? Oh, well, this should be easy, though. Like, what is the first thing that happens, PJ? We already said Titties it. in a strip club. That's right. Shake that ass, bitch, and let me see what you got. Just shake that ass, bitch, and let me see what you got. Yeah. Yeah. That song's not in the movie, but it should have been. Yes, it should Because that's what plays in strip clubs and shit like that. <laughs> I mean, they might be playing Freeway in there, too, but it's probably Are more they? on a... I mean... Uh, if they know he coming, if it's Rockefeller <laughs> people coming, man. Uh, just to get the crowd ready. Okay. Like, oh shit, uh, Beanie them coming. Put on some jigger. I don't know. Like, <laughs> shaking ass to jigger. What's my, my motherfucking mother- name? H to the is O. V, v to, to the is A. It's a hard knock life. Oh, that should actually play in there. Because that's probably true. It's a hard knock life for shit. us. <laughs> that's right. No, really. This is this is life right here. There's a whole like subgenre of like, like strip club music from like the early 90s that is the best there's a song that literally the only words it says in the whole song is bring out the hoes bring out the ho-. get the fuck it's tangent it's for oh, 95 shit. south shout out to Phil cause he knows there probably what I'm go. talking about cause he's in Miami Huh? Never we never get to the movie. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm hyped to have PJ back. I was like, fucking, just I'm excited. <laughs> I missed you. I did. <sighs> Bring out the hoes. Yeah. Ten. Nine. Mm-hmm. Eight. All right, it's gonna take too long. <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. Bring out the hoes. Bring out the hoes. Man, fuck them hoes. Oh, they got to that part yet? <laughs> so I love this uh, shit. This I'll be bumping this in the car. I don't give a that's my shit. That cause that whole album is like nothing but like knocking ass bass and that shit be hitting. Oh, where that is that? My deep. dude. There it goes. Man, fuck them hoes. This doesn't pass the Bechtel test. And bitches used to shake their ass How to this. Bring out the women? hoes. You know what? Oh, Ma- this is a non-gender. But, well, nowadays, but back in 1993, I'm pretty sure they was talking about women. But then you again, in, the pro- in a different club, it might have been a different one. Uh, it might have been dudes in there swiveling and dicks, okay. smacking them and shit like you were talking uh, about earlier. Okay. <laughs> That's one thing I, I can never do. <laughs> was swivel your dick? Yep. <laughs> yep. I should just like send that little link to this uh, podcast episode to that guy. To that link. guy. Oh, the one you dated? Mm-hmm. What link? 
this, he said to this episode. Oh, so we can. Oh, yeah, right. We're some clowning right? for his dick swimming. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. All you had to do <laughs> was get hard and try to stick it in. But no, you want to play fucking games in the shower. Uh, uh, uh. Shame. Uh, yeah. Hashtag dick swivel shaming. <laughs> <laughs> the DSS. Yes! <laughs> this is a good relationship I've had. I, I wonder why. Yeah, right? I could, I could see that. We broke up two weeks into the relationship, got back together, and then like, we You know what? Later. Just, just, this dick swivel shit is not working. Right. Get the fuck out. <laughs> PJ. Yes! This fucking movie, man. Okay, okay. So we got titties in our face and <laughs> yeah, opening credits. Yeah. Okay. From there, Man, Beans comes on. He's doing a voiceover. Yes. Talking about how niggas is going to either get down or lay down. Or lay down. They and go. if they lay down, they, they stay, stay down. down. Well, he's frustrated. He's talking to his homie at the club because he's like, Man, you know, I want to make some money out here. Yeah. I'm, tired. I'm, fuck, I'm tired of eating no ramen noodles and shit. <laughs> I'm fucking ready to get paid. Mm hmm. So the thing to do is get in this dope game. There you go. Can I? Can I? Do a spoiler and say this is like the typical hood movie. Oh, for sure. Drugs. It's, it's got like the it's, blueprint play yeah, out on like it. It's everything you think is going to happen. It happens. It happens. All right. Hey, listeners, go ahead and ask me if, this, if that happens. Go ahead and ask me. It happens. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. Oh, another question? Oh, that happened too. Yes, it did. Thanks Multiple for asking. Times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he get shot? Oh, plenty. Of course. Everyone died. Everyone died. <laughs> Even the cops died. <laughs> right? Oh. We ain't got there yet. Yeah, so they're sitting there. They're like, yo, we got we got to just get a bomb-ass crew together. Mm-hmm. Some people we could trust and we can just go out here and make all the money. Run all the other drug dealers out of town. We're going to run this shit. All of yes. them. They yes. can get down. Or lay down. And if they lay down. They stay down. There you go. <laughs> And as they say that, rapper, I don't know the, the character names like that, so I'm going to say the rapper names. And I'm sure either way, it don't matter, because probably nobody knows the fucking no, yeah, talk. Yeah, right. <laughs> Except for he shout out. Uh, <laughs> and beat him down, shout out. <laughs> Just pounded y'all through the speaker. That's right. I pounded the speaker, probably fucked out. No. Um, yeah, Memphis Bleak, he come in there, he walks up to dude, and I don't remember exactly what went down, but dude, he was like, y'all heard you was talking shit, basically. Yeah. And dude was like, yeah, I was, nigga, fuck you. Mm-hmm. And Memphis Bleak's like, nah, fuck you, blah, 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 blah. So in like not even five minutes in, we got somebody getting chopped the fuck up. In a strip club with titties all around. Yes, and I swear there was... Uh, did anybody even react to it? No. <laughs> no, they did not. <laughs> Every day life. <laughs> what you gonna do? Ain't uh, the hood wonderful. Right? Mm. So after that, they like, yo, we need that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So next scene, they driving up around... I think he's going up an alley or they going up the street. And they run up on Memphis Bleak and they like, hey, he turn around and licks a shot at him. Yeah. They like, yo, chill the fuck out. Yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, what's up? Because uh, Beans is the main character, mm-hmm. the leader. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, what's up, Beans? He's like, yo, I'm about to run some shit. I'm about to start organization. You in? He's like, fuck it, sure. Mm-hmm. He get in the car, bam, recruited. Damn, that was quick. And I don't remember this motherfucker's name, but I guess they run up on the first guy they run up on because they gonna basically just go hit up every big drug dealer and mark their ass. Literally. Or they gonna have to get down or lay down. If they lay down, then they stay down. Yeah, you're catching. Yeah, you're catching <laughs> on, ain't you? I don't remember George the name of some big fat black dude, with the flashy suit. Come oh, out the of, first one. Yeah, coming yeah. off the taco stand. Yeah, he's talking to his goons and shit, talking about he how he's going to run shit. Mm-hmm. But then Beans pulls up, and him and his goons get out the car. No, they don't get out the car. Remember, that's the bad. That's the part that pisses them off. Oh he, yeah, yeah. Like come holler at me real quick. Now. Yeah. The George the dude's like, man, fuck you, man. Disrespect me like that. If you don't talk to me, you get the fuck out your car and come to my face. There you go. And that's when being him got out the car and they yoke his ass up, pull him into an alley, mm-hmm. telling yo, we about to run this shit. You can get down and lay down. He's like, I ain't fucking with y'all. Mm-hmm. And they hit him in the leg with a motherfucking baseball bat, and then he starts talking more shit. So it's like, well, bow, the bow, ba 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 ba. Tossed him in the dumpster. Fingerprints. Yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere. CSI is just out there like, oh man, we, see, we got all oh, this a good day. Like, yo, yo, you see that shit? <laughs> oh, Paul Press, nigga, like, they just don't give a fuck. That show was out at that time. <laughs> what? It was. It show was old it? as fuck. That show Damn. had to be out. They out there with the they out there with the duster <laughs> hype and shit. They out there doing the, what was doing the little Millie Rock dance with the fucking duster and shit. Like, yeah, the kid, we about to get paid this bitch. Easy job. Uh, shit. <laughs> That's hot. That's hot. Y'all could have used a Blue's Clues guy. Found it out. All right, Steve, Steve from Blue's Clues out there with shield a little notepad. We just found some fingerprints. We just found some fingerprints. We Let's lock up some niggas. <laughs> I wonder whose they are. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, oh my God, PJ. Yes. Blue's Clues, and it's a Crip Dog. <laughs> There you go. Snoop Dogg is Steve. There you go. That's, <laughs> yes. That's a great movie idea right there. Oh, my God. I Make watch that it. happen. You know Blue is a girl. Oh, is she? It's Crip Girl even. Okay. We keep it gangster, dog. We keep it gangster. <laughs> Blue doing fucking God Crip God damn. Shit. I did not know that. Blue is a girl. Is Tweety Bird a boy or a girl? Tweety Bird is a boy. Okay. So, uh, can I say that? I don't know. Is he gay? <laughs> I mean, I, there's only one way to ask. Well, there that. was a movie where he went around the world and he had like a little girlfriend. So I there don't you know. go. Oh shit! Okay, Tweety. He's got a high pitched. Damn! Voice. I wish I could go back to fifth I mean, grade now. High pitched niggas be getting bitches. Look at Prince and Michael. Look at Jeff. No <laughs> offense. Oh, inside no joke. No offense. Yeah. No offense. Oh, he listens to the show too. <laughs> That's the only dude I could think of that I actually like knew knew that just had a that high pitched voice. But high yeah, voice. Just I mean, got it's true. Bitches, like, we laugh because it's true. Damn. So if you want bitches, get a high pitch voice. That might be the key. Maybe it's not the <laughs> testosterone. And a perm. And a oh. perm. Or something. So you gotta be like hair. curly hair with fucking high pitch voice. Mm-hmm. Women like women. What can we say? So the more feminine you are, like. Oh shit. That's deep. She dropping game out like, here. No, I'm just saying, like, it's women. Not all women. Well, some, you know, mm-hmm. obviously I like masculine men too. Mm-hmm. Um, testosterone. <laughs> yeah. Incarnate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Studies do show that women tend to be more biflexible, heteroflexible, or bicurious of men on a larger I scale, a larger it. percentage. So, yeah, we dig them uh, metrosexuals. Mm. Well, hi guys. Welcome back to the home video hustle. <laughs> this is PJ. And I'm Brent. Hustle. A motherfucking hustle. hustle. And this is spirit. Oh! There you go. <laughs> if roles were reversed, <laughs> that would be some shit. Oh, shit. We might take off even more if we were girls. Oh, Just yeah. cause. All we have to do is make an Instagram page and like show our ass and shit, and the motherfucker would be like skyrocketing. Right? <laughs> Don't care what the fuck they talking about. Let's just go they, ahead and. Talking about movies. Uh, movies. They talking about movies? Oh, is that shit. what? <laughs> Yeah. Digress. <laughs> Speaking of. Speaking of movies. And state yep. property. Um, um. Yeah. One year later, actually, is right here. Oh damn! Yeah. Like the the, the beginning of it. Yeah. Kind of the come up was very fast. Oh yeah. So yeah. One year later, yeah. Like you said, come up happened. Mm-hmm. They were on the alley talking to these little young drug dealers, and they tell them what PJ. You were either gonna get down, or lay down. And if you lay down, you gonna stay down. Damn right. And the dude is like. No. <laughs> so he runs the fuck off. He takes off track start up yes. the street. Didn't he have some Tim's on running? Yeah, I think so. Yes. But the, the big baggy shirt and everything. Mm-hmm. And he runs up the street. But Memphis Bleak comes around the corner and fucking pistol whips him with a fucking like 12 gauge shotgun. Yeah. And says something and shoots him with it. But it makes like a pistol, pistol sound, sound effect, yeah. which made me cry yeah. up. So when the other dudes are like, yo, we going to get down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> fuck that. So then it cuts to he guess he you know, he said he moved out the hood, got him a crib out in the burbs, oh, so a nice size crib, yeah. having a birthday party for his daughter and all that. How cute! How cute! And he said after he's after a while he's like, all right, you know, birthday party, yeah, yeah, fine. Cut the cake, eat the cake, yeah, whatever. Drug talk now. Yes. Go inside to talk to my homie. <laughs> yes. He found out their group name is they called the ABM. All about money. All about that money. There you go. ABM. Okay. And these motherfuckers are walking around with like fucking ABM stickers on their car Bumper and shit. stickers. Now, PJ. Yes. For the listeners that may not know, mm-hmm. tell me why that's not a smart idea. Well, you see, <laughs> that's the thing called self promotion to your detriment. Because <laughs> once you put that on your car, then you're automatically flagged and know they're coming for you. Because even mm. if it ain't the cops, you like you in a rival neighborhood. Oh, the ABM, blah 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 right. blah blah blah. You know, right? So mm. it's, it's just like to make, to use an actual real life example. It's like when people get tent in their car, but they get as we call it, and I quote, "the police pulled me over tent," <laughs> or it's like they can't see right in the car above, at all. What so is it? Sixty, eighty? I something like that. Mm. And so if you get a certain tent, and you might as well just expect to get pulled the fuck right. over constantly. Right. It was like back in the 90s when everybody had the big systems in the car. Yeah. Beating the block up yeah. and everybody's getting pulled the fuck over You think constantly. you're not going to get pulled over? It's Noise ordinance, ordinances or whatever and shit. You know, I actually got that except for it was for my muffler in fucking Virginia. <laughs> fucking muffler? Yeah, it was too loud. Damn. And I was riding through, of course. Like, give me somebody to get this shit fixed then, bitch. The white people neighborhood. Oh, shit. And I got pulled over. 
and that it happened. So, Beans wants to send a message to yet another drug dealer. It's basically like video game missions. He's like going to each drug dealer, like jacking a spot. Yes. And uh, so he goes up to the next dude, dude named Butter. Mm. Drives up on his boys, like, yo, he gives him a car, like, tell Butter to holla at me. Yes. In the next 24 hours, or I'm going to come holla at him. Something yes. like that. And dude's like, okay, whatever. Okay. Like, we don't know who you are. Ryan's being single pulls off. Butter pulls up behind him almost. Yes. And he tells him, like, yo, this motherfucker named Beans came up here and was like, yo, you need to call him basically ASAP. Mm-hmm. And Butter's like, whatever, I'll call him whenever I fucking feel like it, basically. He was like, but you're going to call him right, though. Yeah, dude, like, yeah, but I ain't trying to get shot up, so you're going to call this motherfucker, right? <laughs> I ain't come over here and shoot just me. Make and sure. Shit. I'm just a messenger, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Butter and Beans, they talk on the phone. Of course, they get real fucking, like, hectic. Because mm-hmm. your man start talking real heated shit to him. And Beans is like, you know what? Fuck you. And my dude in there getting a massage, though. So he like, he like, cool about it. He like, yo, whatever. Mm-hmm. Man, fuck you. You ain't going to do shit to me. You know who I am, mm-hmm. son? I'm Butter, bitch. He told her, what did he say? He said, don't worry. It's something. When he got off the oh, phone. Oh, because yeah, when the girl, he asked him a question. Like, what was that all about? He said, yeah, stay out of my business. Yeah, yeah. And then he rolled over. And she was started kissing on him, and then she he literally put his hands on her head to push her down to his dick. Like, no, fuck all that kissing fuck shit. That. Just suck yes. the dick, all of it. Don't want shit else. Bust some head right now. Bechdel test. Ah. <laughs> that should be on oh, the shirt. Fuck. I put that on the, the t-shirt. Bechdel test. <laughs> Hope your man does not pass the test. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we got spirit on here now. Uh, yeah, and we. She doesn't just talk about men either. And she she goes all her tirades yes. and all that. So we actually might we pass, might pass the, the back test. test. Ha! When she's here. Is that sad? Yeah. No, it says more than one woman though. Fuck. Yes. No. Well, Shay's coming. So. Oh yeah. Oh God, that's gonna uh, be hectic fuck. on the mic. Oh, shit. That's sad that y'all need me to pass the Bechdel test. Like, I mean, we technically uh, need women to pass it. Yeah, that is true. So that's what I'm saying. Y'all can like get the brownie points on the on the score sheet without me. Like, y'all need to work on your feminism. I love women. What's next? What is next? He comes up to <laughs> oh, somebody else and tells the, him, lay down. The above the rim ripoff. Ah, yes, next. yes. And I said, not only are they jacking Goodfellas <laughs> and Scarface, they're jacking above the rim. Right. Y'all know that movie. Another hood movie. Yes. One another one I was kind of like, eh, to it. I might have to watch that again. Too. Really? Yeah, I was kind of, eh, that one. Wow. I have it, but I'm like, eh, I watched it like once. I just got watched it once. And stuff. Oh, wow. Didn't care for it. Um... What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, that's there at a basketball game. You know, mm-hmm. drug dealer sponsored basketball game. Of course. And Beanie Siegel people just run up and just start dumping. Like, fuck it. You don't and know court. you'll notice in this movie, maybe it's because they filmed this shit all just, they had to do it all during the day. Mm-hmm. These motherfuckers do not yes. give a fuck about doing anything yes. in broad daylight. Every time they murk somebody, it's in broad ass daylight. And a lot of times it ain't even like in alleys or cuts. They're on a fucking main Streets. street with shotguns. Yes. Just blaming motherfuckers. Yes. But I guess that's the dude. They whore. They ain't got shit to care. They paying say. off the cops. Yeah. You tough, motherfucker. Yeah. We ain't got to worry about that type of shit. Fuck your handshake. I'm going to give you this money and keep it walking. That's right. Yeah, they get <laughs> paying off the cops with some fucking like uh, big ass wads of money. And dude, a cop put out his hand. I guess dude like your little handshake. Dude just kind of brush past him. I mean, fuck out of here, man. <laughs> oh, shit. So your shootout happens at the basketball game. Mm-hmm. Butter's dudes all get lit up. Butter gets hit in the leg. Mm-hmm. And I think it's Memphis Bleak comes up and lays the final shot on him. And so he dead as fuck. Yes. Benny Siegel just in the background like, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody runs to the car. Everybody runs off the court. <laughs> except this one woman. They had that and one chick just run like, right. oh my God. Ah, right. Screaming and shit. Everybody's gone. She's had to run bigger screen <laughs> on. And after that, you get just like a basically like a little montage of the takeover. You know, everybody yeah. going to their little spots that they done took from other people mm-hmm. and setting up shop and all that. You got the voice over here, him explaining how the drug shop and drug cartel worked, mm-hmm. who ran what. Oh, and this is what he's saying too. Like he done fucking with the middleman. He want to go fuck with him directly. Ah, so he yes, yes, yes. Scarface ripoff comes in. Yes. He goes, they go, him and old, his boy, I forget his boy's name. Baby like boy. Right hand, yeah, there you go. Right hand man is named Baby Boy. Mm. But not Tyrese. That's another movie Ooh. that we got to do one day. That's my shit. <laughs> I do own that one. Um, but yeah, him and Baby Boy, they go overseas to go fuck with the big dope man. They basically, the deal goes smooth. Like, you kind of think shit going to go fucked up. Mm-hmm. But, you know, he kind of mad at his uh, Baby Boy because he's being too relaxed, I guess, asking yeah. for drinks and shit. Beans is like, all like, no, nah, I mean, fuck them, man. We just can't do the job. Mm-hmm. Get him out of here. And it ends up making him look like the fucking suspicious one. He right. But, like I said, it's all good, though. They get the dope. Yep. They bang out. Yep. Of course, drug dealers like, y'all, y'all want to stay for the show? Titties are out in the pool. Yeah, that's right. You got the two little Latina chicks. They start fucking kissing on each other. 
And right before the scissor starts, they fade away. There you go. Bechdel test <laughs> pass. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> Technically. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you don't know. They might have been about to do that. They were all up on each other. They she were. had a hand on the coochie. And yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Might have just slung a finger or two in that moment. Yeah. <laughs> or three. Get it juicy for you. Mm, juicy fruits. Juicy. Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. Mm. When I was dead broke, man, man, I couldn't picture this. No. That's how you do it. See, this real hip hop or music fan. You go to the original song. Yes. And then you go to one that sampled it. Motherfucker. That's how you do it. So I'm old school. <laughs> that um, <is> why. <laughs> um, what happens next, PJ? Shit. Oh, okay. I know what happens next. I they get remember. down, lay down, somebody. <laughs> that seems to be movie. yeah. Oh, uh, but nah. He gives a voice over to somebody. You know how you get big, and it's always gonna be some young dude trying to fuck with you, and they cuss to my young dude in the little ill outfit. I, w- I wish oh, I brown, owned. yeah, yeah, the brown dicky suit. Yeah, that shit was yeah. hard. I need that. But yeah, he's basically plotting. Basically, you know, fuck them ABM dudes. You know, mm-hmm. they bunch of old niggas. We gonna go get them and get their money and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And then at the same time, Memphis Bleak is starting to turn on Beans. Yeah. He's like, yo, boy, Beans got all the money. We ain't getting nothing. And the dude he talking to was like, man, he just bought you a brand new car. Right? You so, iced out right yeah, now. Yeah, you iced out and everything. You bling blinging out here. <laughs> that phrase is used in this movie. They do say bling bling and it made me laugh. Ah, fucking Wayne. Every time I come around, you bang bang. Uh, God, I hate that song. Right? Uh, <laughs> oh, you don't like it either? No. Oh, I'm shocked. No. Yeah. I'm actually legit shocked. I did when I liked Wayne. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. You had your period. Yeah, I had my phase. Side note, tangents. Oh, you know what I hope really happens? What's up? I hope one day, of course we both get on, but I get on with the rap and shit. Uh-huh. And then somebody goes back and archives these <laughs> files. And every time I said, fuck Wayne, fuck, I want them to bring it up to me then. <laughs> So that way I can be like, yes, I meant this shit. Fuck Wayne. Fuck every new school artist. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I don't know about every new school. Not There's every of, uh, new school. But 90% crazy, of them. That. Yeah, right? <laughs> 90%. Yeah, that's all good. Fruit. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All the motherfuckers that ain't talking about shit, which is most of them. Yes. But that is my dream. Start rap beefs with everybody. Yeah, just the whole... That's we got a story true. about rap beef to talk about later too, mm. and you probably know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, yes, that's loud. Yes, sh- yeah, we got. See, not we like a lot. We got fun stories for the most part this week. I, okay. you know, a lot of that, a lot of that bullshit. I'm like, we gonna have to talk about some fun shit. That's coming though. Uh, if you know shit. what we talking about? Then hey, that's just building up the anticipation. There you go. But what was what? I talking about? Oh yeah, Memphis Bleak turning. And so dude, he was mm. talking to. Tells Beans basically like, yo, uh, Bleak is on that bullshit. You need to watch him. Mm-hmm. So Beans is like, yo, you watch him too and let me know what the fuck going on. Mm-hmm. So Memphis Bleak goes and actually talks to the young drug dealer dude with the brown suit we just talked about. His name is Sharif, actually. I just remembered that. Really? Yeah, yo. I okay. got that name. Okay. And I, they talking like they know each other, but then Memphis Bleak is like, yo, you know, Beans wants to, he don't want to run you off, but he said he wants 10% of everything you make. Yeah. And the human Sharif test says, and I quote, tell Beans, I said, suck my dick. There you go. Multiple times he says that. <laughs> but then as Memphis Bleak's getting ready to walk off, little girl, the girly walk up. Mm-hmm. And I guess the Sharif's little girl he fuck with. Skeezer. And she start giving Memphis Bleak the eyes and dude notices. So he kind of, you know, grabs him like, yo, man, what the fuck you doing right. out here, man? What you looking at dude all for? He was talking and smiling at that dude. He said, I that know boy. you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, basically, I know bitch. you a hoe, so right. I know what you plotting. Shit. And he's actually right. Yes. Because the next scene mm. is Memphis Bleak fucking that hoe. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> next thing that happens is, I guess, she ain't happy with Sharif. Memphis Bleak gonna make her happy. Mm-hmm. So, they set up Sharif. Oh, oh, Sharif is in the car where he drops her off at home. Mm-hmm. And then once she goes in the house and shuts the door, Memphis Bleak comes out and says, what did he say? Something. Oh, he says, Bean says, suck on this. And he shot that motherfucker and killed him. So Shreef is dead as fuck. Yes. Memphis Bleak is out there standing in the open. And of course, it actually backfires on him finally because shooting somebody in broad daylight, the cops come immediately. Yes. And a shootout, he actually gets into a shootout with the cops. And actually, I think he takes one of them out. Mm-hmm. Shoots one in the throat In the or neck. And yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they end up popping. The black cop ends up shooting Memphis Bleak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Memphis mm-hmm. Bleak is dead. As fuck. There you go. <laughs> Yes. So there's a quick little scene here. I just made a note of it because it made me laugh. There's a Beans and a Baby Boy sitting there buying some jewelry off Jacob the jeweler. Yeah. The real Jacob. The real dude, yeah. The real Jacob. And a lot of, like I said, some of the younger cast are not hip-hop people might not know who that is. Basically, a dude that all the rappers at the mm-hmm. time got all their jewelry from. 
And if you play the game Dev Jam, Fight for New York, you yes. can actually get your jewelry and stuff from him in that game. And it's his voice, likeness, and all that. There you go. But I don't know when it happened. I think it was like late 2000s, maybe. He actually got arrested for selling motherfuckers fake jewelry. I don't understand how. Like, are you not the jeweler? Do you not have I guess he's like, money? why? He's like, I could tell these motherfuckers this is worth $10,000. Because I am Jacob. Yes. Uh, I've got that reputation. Uh, and I could really be, this shit really going to be worth like two or if that. And if these motherfuckers give me $10,000, motherfucker, that's profit like a month. Why do people get so greedy? I don't, I don't understand. Why are motherfuckers paying that much for jewelry, too? Well, that, too. <laughs> like, I, I, I just can't, I can't do it. I don't even wear jewelry, though. So I yeah, think, right? Yeah. Most I wear is a skinny-ass chain. There you go. And that's it. I got more important shit to spend my money on, right. like state property DVDs Ooh. and shit. But, yeah, he gives a little speech at the table after this. All his people ah. get roused and, like, leader speech type thing. Mm-hmm. Gives his main dudes little rings. It's like, once you put this ring on you, like... In the family. Yeah. For life. The only way you out, you go out, is through death. Pretty much, and pretty much after this, you get introduced to Damon Dash. Yeah, and his name is Dame yeah. because he never has a character name or nothing. It's always just Dame. He's a big drug dealer, mm-hmm. and they're running up on all his spots because he's the next person that's gonna have to get laid down, down or lay down, whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it eventually just comes to a point where they're talking shit to each other. On the phone first. Yeah, on the phone. And because he's trying to intimidate Dame, and Dame is like, yo, basically, I'm that dude. Like, I don't even know who the fuck you right. are. Like, Jeez. fuck you. If I wanted you dead, I got you dead, like, right now. So don't right. call me no more. Then he's like, yo, matter of fact, how'd you even get my number? Right. Yeah, I hung up on it. And Beans goes to talk to this dude named Caesar at this little custom shop. Because I guess he's like a connect with Dame or something. Yes. But of course, that goes south because dude is like just not with the shits. Ain't right. trying to fuck with him. So Dame, I mean not Dame, but uh, Bean shoots that motherfucker. Yep. And then he gets, he falls over. He's still alive. He shoots that motherfucker like five times. Literally. And you think he did. He was on his 50 cent shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nine shots to the chest. Right. Still alive, though. House, You'll find right? out later. Your boy must be a terrible ass shot. Mm-hmm. But you find out he's alive, so Dame is like, yo, we could probably use this shit because he's going to probably testify to the cops so he don't have to go to jail. Mm-hmm. Get beans locked the fuck up. Ain't got to worry about him no more. Mm-hmm. So the next thing that happens now. Is that when he sends the champagne bottle up? Yes. Ah. You want to talk about it? They're in the club. Uh, beans, his girlfriend, and her girlfriends yeah. are up in the club, you know, talking, having a good time. And then Dame... He's right across from him. He sees him, knows that's the little shorty, and he sends him a bottle of champagne. Of course, Beans' girl isn't stupid, so she sits her ass right there at the table. I ain't fucking with him. Because she don't want no smoke. Yeah. But the other friend goes over there, you know, it's cordial at first. I thank you, like thank they got you. money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go see what the fuck this is about. Come to find out. Well, why did he do that? Send the bottle over there. Because he knew that was Beans' girl. Oh, just to fuck with him. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. So yeah. So they got he got a little rude, got a little reckless. She goes back over and tells him, uh, tells Beans' his girlfriend he was talking shit about Beans and something, something, yada yada yada. Watch out. Yeah, pretty she much. She said Beans ain't fucking with him. Right. They ain't. They, they don't want that with Beans. They right. Them just some lame motherfuckers. Right. But after this though, you cut mm-hmm. and Dame actually starts talking to Jigga. What's my motherfucking name? Jigga. And who you fucking with, huh? My nigga. Uh. I niggas can't. better get it right. Damn, that's what I was Bitches better get it right. I was trying to think of the next part. I can't remember <laughs> shit. But yeah, Jay-Z is out there if you didn't know who the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> and Jay-Z's basically playing like some kind of like hitman of sorts. Yeah. Like basically his hitter, like his call, like you get shit done, dude. <laughs> and so he's like, see, he's sitting in the car with him. And he's telling Jay Z about what's going on. Jay Z just like, just like looks at him like this kind of smile. He's like, "I'm a kidnapper." <laughs> he says it's just like that. I want to kidnap her. Like you want to kidnap her? I want to kidnap her. He's like, all right. <laughs> that was pretty much how that goes. Like, oh, okay. That's it. Do it. The nigga that does shit but doesn't do shit. Yeah. Well, or he doesn't does do shit. shit but does shit. Yeah. Doesn't get his hands dirty but still does shit somehow. Mm-hmm. Get shit handled. Like, yeah. He ain't the one doing the dirt, but he got people that's gonna do yeah. shit for him. <laughs> Cause he's just after this, a squad of dudes come out and run up on Girlie as they getting in the car. Mm-hmm. Takes the one girl in her, or takes Beans' girl and the friend, and they bang out. Yeah, and then this is where they get back to the house, and he calls Beans, right? And he says the line of the movie. Yes. PJ, tell them what that line was again. Wake up, nigga. We got your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh shit. Back to test. Yes. 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 <sighs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Man. So he has him on the phone and shit. Well, he's talking to Beams. You know, saying we want how much? He wants five hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. And he wants some of the drugs too. Mm-hmm. And Beams is at first like fuck that shit, but then he's like. Gotta be smart. Gotta know when to take your losses. Everybody takes L's. Yeah, that's what he said. So though. you just gotta go ahead and give it to him. And then to he damn says to let you know I'm serious. Mm-hmm. He uh kisses uh, yeah he kisses uh Bean's girl mm-hmm. and then he has his boy shoot the other girl right in her fucking face. Yes. But then he gets Max. He's like motherfucker, why you get blood on my wall? That's what the uh, plastic was for. <sighs> So just like none, don't give a fuck. Right, nah. He said you got a little snot there. Yeah, <laughs> just fucking with it. I, mean, I love David Dash's movie. He is just like your dad. Like, oh, that that reminds funny. me of my pop so much. It's hilarious. So the transaction happens though. They get in the money and the dope. Mm-hmm. They get girly back. Mm-hmm. And uh oh. I, I told you no this is Damon Damon uh Jay Z talking again. I forget what they talked about the second time, but I remember we laughed a lot though. Cause he was uh notched a lot when Jay Z was notched a lot. The haircut thing, yeah. 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 Hey, y'all need a haircut. He like, said you, you get, should handle that. He's like, did you get a new haircut? And he is like he, the nigga is bald headed. So you know yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. bald headed. So he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he said something about whatever going on the shit between. Oh, he was bugging out about beans. That's right. Dame was oh, all beans because beans shot at him, right? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Guy, yeah, this nigga really like, Yeah, he came here <laughs> frantic. Yeah, this yeah. nigga shot at me, he'll be calling me and everything. He's like, <laughs> he like, you should handle you that. You should handle that. Oh yeah. <laughs> beans are shot at me. And I was in the club, I can't even go nowhere. Jay Jay's like, you should handle that. <laughs> it's real cool. Hey, yo, I need a haircut. Nah. All right. Well, you should handle that still. Huh? He just starts talking. He's like, man, I work about no haircut, man. I got beans on his <laughs> shoes. Well, you should handle that. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Fuck. I would hate to be with him. Like, you can't That's the shit I would say, thing. too. Like, you should just handle that, bro. That's like, really Jay in real life, though. Yeah. Fucking asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, um, actually, sk- we skipped a quick scene, too. I forgot. Um, mm-hmm. They actually showed the cops interrogating Caesar. They're hitting him with the first 48 move. Yeah. Good cop, and, bad cop. Yeah, they smacking on him and shit. They actually like grab his gunshot wound and they're like twisting on it and shit. All this crazy stuff. <laughs> That's fucked up. So he breaks eventually. Mm-hmm. And he agrees to testify against Beans. And then there's a scene where Beans is trying to go out and the girl is tripping like, no, man, don't go out. You know, I just got kidnapped. You're going to die yes. and all that type of shit. Yes. So he has to talk to her and chill her out. He does the yeah, kingpin shit. Look, baby, ain't nothing going to happen. I'm going to be back. Told you I was going to handle it. I'm going to handle it. Yeah. yeah there don't you go. worry. Yeah. <laughs> Damn! But after all that happens, though, like I said, homeboy testifying now, and he done, done dropped some fucking knowledge on the cops. Mm-hmm. So they start raiding, basically running up on all the ABM dudes. Yes. And one, his main boy, I think one of the baby boy, baby boy, yeah, got mm-hmm. ran up on he's with his girl, and he had the fucking bricks and the bread and the, mm-hmm. and the uh, book bag. And of course, the cops open the bag, they pull out two big ass things of fucking cocaine. <laughs> yes. So you laying the fuck down. Right. Life. Beans eventually gets arrested in his house. Yeah. And then he has to meet with his lawyers, and they're like, motherfucker, you fuck, basically. Mm hmm. Like, there's a big case against you. It's like highly publicized on TV and everything. Yeah. This marriage up for re election. Like, you, you fucked. fucked. Yeah. There ain't much we can do. Yeah. So Beans is like, you know what? Fuck it. Offer Caesar $5 million to go up on the stand and just say, you know what? I made a mistake. I thought I saw the wrong dude or something like that. <sighs> and so you find out later he agrees to it. But after this happy, see Jay Z's calling a mill. Is it a mill or a mill? I have no a idea. A mill? We're going to go with a mill. Okay. It's another rapper from that lady. <laughs> um, and I don't remember what exactly he says to her, but he basically. Has he's gonna have her go fuck Give a up. hit? Yeah, there mm-hmm. you go. Put a hit out for somebody. Mm-hmm. With so, Beans is in jail. He calls his boy and is like, "Yo, he took the deal, but I want some insurance on that shit." Yes. So, craziness is about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so everything. Now the ending got me thinking. Everything from that club scene. I'm on. looking. I'm thinking it's pretty much everything. After him talking on the phone, the old boy about him taking the money and shit. Ah, uh, because he could have took the money and still said fuck it, and I locked up. I'm not sure. I think I honestly just everything at this at the court scene at the end is bullshit. Okay. That's how I thought anyway. Okay. Because what's well, you know context for y'all? Cause y'all know what the fuck we talking about. <laughs> These motherfuckers, two of his boys roll up in a fucking wheelchair. Yes. And one, like one's in a chair, one is pushing him, and they pull out guns and they just start shooting the security guards in the courthouse. Yes. Lawyers are running. 
and fucking the uh, what's his name Caesar is running away because he know what the fuck is about to go down. Mm-hmm. Panic ensues. Runs into the actual courtroom and gets shot in the fucking dome like yes. brains on the wall and everything. Yes. And then after that happens, cops comes and there's like a shootout with Beans, Baby Boy, the other dude, and the cops. Mm-hmm. Baby Boy and the other dude get taken out, but also the cops are getting taken out. Yes. And it eventually comes to a point where Beans is the only one alive. Oh, it's his wife, his girl, and his kid is there too, but he hit him in like the, the jury stand. Yeah. Right there may be another voice in here now. It's another spirit in yes, the house. Yes, another spirit, but you what know this up, one. black people? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm... And everybody, others. Everybody. Yeah, we just, got all type of people. Yes, yes we do. <laughs> Uh, what else? PJ? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beanie Siegel is the only one left standing at this point. Mm-hmm. A mill comes in from the background and shoots that motherfucker in the back of the head or yes. side of the head or something like that. That is the weirdest shit to me. Yeah, like he made it through all that and then just to get shot. Well, then you find out though, none of that really happened. Yeah, because it like fades out and he's like, "Yo, I went out like a gangster, right?" Mm-hmm. Like, but yo, that shit ain't really happened though. I really just got put under the jail, got four consecutive life sentences. Oh. And then it's like, yeah, oh, well, yeah. that whole last part, I guess, just so they can have an action scene at the end. Right, and right. Just, and he'll get locked the fuck up. Build the mount up. Yeah. <laughs> and th- that's pretty much it. Like, he just yeah. gets locked the fuck up for four consecutive life sentences. Yes. Nobody dies. And it fades out with him staring at the camera. Yeah. And the mean mug. And that's his state property. Yeah. So, yeah. PJ. Yes. What did you think of state property? <sighs> I mean, if I'm allowed to be biased, which I think I am. I'm pretty sure you're allowed to. Since it was coming from a hip-hop place, it had Dame Dash, it had Memphis Bleak, it had Benny Siegel. Yep. Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Wow. With the cameo. Yeah. It was a lot of gun violence. Yeah. Mm. It was the typical hood movie. Good quotables. Good quotables. You want, you want to tell, tell Wifey what your favorite quote in the movie was? <laughs> Wake up, nigga. We got your bitch. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. I would have woke up. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <That's scary. sighs> he was awake when they called. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's the thing. Wake up, nigga. Hey. You got your bitch. Mm. <laughs> you were scared. First mm-hmm. of all, nigga, I'm already awake. Second of all, which bitch you got? Yeah, right. which, <laughs> which bitch you talking which about? Which whore? Yeah, Trina, you can have her. I don't care. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, right? Fade him out. Quit Trina diss out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't even know Trina. Trina's slip and slide records. You're on the record label and everything. Oh, damn. Slip and slide. I, move. I was about to say, that's moves. the one, yeah. too. Yeah. We got one. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, what'd you think, though? It's an eight. Eight? It's an eight. Eight out of ten. Okay. Yeah. Big. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Yeah. Spirit, what you think? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with eight, too. Eight, too? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, y'all really going to have me do this? I'm, I'm going to be the one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'll give it a six. Ah. It wasn't here. I wasn't it, here. Yeah, what I heard of it, I'll give it a six. Mm. <laughs> hey, well, fuck it. There you go. <laughs> like shooting a friend in the head, like right in front of her, like that was some gangster shit. Yeah, right. Like, oh yeah. shit! Like cause that's why I remember this movie from me being a kid. Yeah. And like for some reason, I kept thinking it was called President something. Like Dead President. Something. Because I saw that's a different movie. I saw that's it when my I was shit. really little, and I wasn't supposed to be watching it. That's when you see the best over. shit. Right. And we was up late and we was just watching BT and that shit came on and I would just remember that like specifically the friend getting shot in front of her and I was just like I need to see this movie again. Like, that shit is years. yeah yeah. Well, I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay, okay. But this is mainly because I like the second one way better. Ah, uh, I gotta see the second one. I ain't seen the oh, second. Oh, guess yet. what? You will. All right. So that shit's coming. Mm. And not in your pants. What is this? So we're gonna call this the hood hustle? The hood hustle. The hood hustle. Ain't that just like us every week? It is. Yeah. I have a question. Oh, what's up? Oh. When are y'all gonna do like movies that are like? Oh no. Out now. Oh, like new like, shit. Yeah. Whenever it's something out that we give enough of a fuck yeah. about to watch. Oh, okay. Cause he does like Instagram. Shit. Yeah, I do like written There's ones. There's a lot of. That, that's, yeah. that's the yeah I yeah mean, that's true. like. He just did one on the Avengers. Okay, like the new Avengers or. Yeah. We don't do them on the mic. I just cause I, we Panther, don't we don't see them together or, a lot of times. Or the mountain between us. Oh fuck! Oh, that was, was that, good. That was, was it? That was, was with, good. It was with who was it? Just Alba and yeah. this girl. <laughs> oh, white girl. You can yeah. say, you can say it. <laughs> and it's this white girl, and they were stuck on the mountain. They got stuck on the mountain. I remember seeing that. It was so good. I don't. Um, it was deep. I'm sorry, but I'm tired of seeing black men saving white women all the damn time. <laughs> my mom Tell me why. That's what I said. And the he said whole that too. Time. And I said, okay, Damn, but man. listen, it's not. It was like, good though. I mean, it's not like it was like a 
love story. Like no, they were it stuck wasn't. on yeah. a fuck. Okay, but when is a white woman gonna save a oh. black man? Well, no, I think that would piss off a lot of black Never. Like, you know, like, why is it always, said we no, got, why is it always, we gotta save them? I can't, like, they do some shit and we'll save them. But didn't Kim like, Kardashian save Kanye West? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> save him. He got, he oh, we got two, we got two something. black women here. That's yeah, right? So I gotta like, poke some babies. Like, I'm not mad at him so much as I feel, like. You're not mad at him? I feel bad for him. But you're not stories, mad at yet. Stories. Mm. I feel bad for I him disagree. Too, rather than I, be mad at him. Like, I that's the thing. I feel bad for him. Only because he's really <laughs> mental. Something he ain't been really right since wrong. he lost his mama. When he, as soon as he really lost wrong. his mama. And the thing is how he lost her with some bullshit. She shouldn't have had that surgery. The doctors kept telling her ass no. You know what I mean? What if it was the sacrifice? What you mean? Oh, okay, P. I see where you headed. Yeah. Oh, shit. I like some Illuminati shit. Yeah. I don't no. believe. Mm. No? I mean, like, I do, but I don't, like, I don't believe that Illuminati is what it is. Like, one, because, one, a lot of people like to, like, especially Christian shit, like, I'd be watching, I've, when I, back when I was really religious, I used to watch these documentaries my mom would buy, and it's all supposed to be, like, inside info on the Illuminati shit. All it is is a bunch of Christian shit demonizing African spirituality and other things that aren't Christian. And I really give, like, zero fucks about that, like, the whole 666 being demonized. That's, that's I not. think it's... I, mean, I think there are that. clicks and shit, but I don't think it's like, like if you want to talk about Illuminati, we're talking about Rothschild. Yeah. You know, we're talking about all all those the, the queens, the kings yeah, of England. Not, and we're, it's we not do it all the time. it's not fucking Jay Z <laughs> and Beyonce and Rihanna and all them people. Like but they still got a part of it. No, I think the thing is everyone gets used. Like one, because you want to like you want to be rich and famous one day off the rap them. You know what I mean? What yeah, happens but is, he's not about to do it the way that most of see them the do. way. I think the structure. <laughs> yeah, right. Most people, I, I think, like when it comes to the Illuminati, most people forget the key part of there being a devil on this earth, and that there are darker principles that we can't see. And since the devil me. was the, you don't believe in the devil? No. Oh shit! It's about, it's what do you about believe to be a long in? Combo now. <laughs> Yeah. So what's opposite of God? This is the thing for me. Like when you like when you read the Bible, where do bad people like, go? Like if you're going from the biblical stance, which is the one religion that I am the most familiar with. Go ahead, scoop back. From the biblical <laughs> sense, you know. I don't, I, don't, I don't got much to add here. I forget the verse, which verse it is, but pretty much is it. You know, everything is created in the likeness of God. Mm -hmm, in know? the image of God. And, mm -hmm. and so therefore, anything that is evil has to also be created in the image of God. Therefore, God also has to be evil. But that's because not. That's where it gets confused because no, we can be that. in the image of God, but no, he without says, understanding in the Bible, that. The it says that he is evil. Everything is created in my image, even evilness. And you have to have that balance because you can't appreciate lightness unless you have darkness. They don't say that. It, it there's no evil in God. It, 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 no, there's we, everything it, is made in the image of God, but, this is the but same evil God. is from. This is the same God that asked people to commit genocide and wipe out even children. Multiple times in the Old Did Testament. Multiple times. Like, the Christian God in the Old Testament is a very genocidal, and which is the same God in the New Testament. It's been the same God the entire time. But the Old Testament, God was very genocidal. But it was reasons for it. Like, no. with Sodom and Gomorrah. Why did he wipe them all out? Okay, but this because is, it was all so evil, it was nothing but evil that okay, was going but the, on. But all of a lot of people, figureheads from, from that God's chosen people, that like major people in the Bible, were doing the same thing, raping their children, going around yeah. killing people. Like David, the closest man after God's own heart, took someone's wife, raped her because if you're a king, you couldn't tell a king, no, y'all don't want to sleep with you. And he married. was punished for that. Say, no, was he then he, he killed the man. He killed the man. He was punished <laughs> for that. I mean, he that's karma. Punished. That's karma. I don't like see how I look at it is. Or that's before he met God. Like you can, you can still be I'm God. Saying, you can we still make have. Mistakes every day. We yeah, still can yeah. He's still. Every day, but that doesn't mean that we don't have like God in us. Like we could still like I. I think that he was for God. He loved God, but he. He was, fucked up. He fucked Players up fuck bad. Up. And, like, <laughs> you fuck up. You fuck up. You fuck up. And God. Said, but even but God is it like all the sins that like, God says we're not supposed to commit. God does like we're not supposed to be jealous. God is a jealous God. We're not he supposed is. to be vengeful. God is a vengeful God. <laughs> You know, God's killed. But he, he says vengeance is mine, meaning you we're not supposed to take on I, any type of vengeance. But yeah. when you go back to African spirituality, this is the thing. Even early African spirituality, there is no devil. Because your European Christianity, it took pretty much created the Satan and used it as a, like a scapegoat. Like, that's what people would do. Oh, that's the devil. The devil did that. Instead of taking responsibility for that 
there's pretty much laws of attraction. What you do, what you put out into the world, it exists and it, it manifests in, in your existence. So when you're putting evilness out into the world, you're going to reap what you sow. It's like if I plant tomato seeds, I'm going to get tomatoes. You know, and... And I hear that, but I also... This is my belief. I believe... I'm not saying that, like, our African ancestors were wrong totally, but there is a reason that God had to send Jesus here because we we fucked up along that. I, I you don't think he was the son of God. You don't think Jesus is the son of God. No more than came all of us are remnant. Like this thing, I believe God is energy. Everything energy yes. can't be created or destroyed. Everyone yes. has energy. Everything has is energy. Yes. I believe just God is an energy source. Everything that we are exists off of energy. Light energy, dark energy, evilness, goodness. That's what it is. Left aligned, right aligned. So, so when you die, what Based off of how you lived your life, what happens? Go to the dirt. <laughs> That's it. It just... Where did I, your energy go? I believe that reincarnation is possible, but I also do not believe that I know everything. I don't have the answers for that. Sway. Like, I'm not... Yeah, don't like, have the answers, Sway. I just, like... That's why, like, I'm cool with everyone's religions and shit. You know, like, I studied Christianity. Like, for me, the reason why I stepped back from Christianity is because I read it so much and studied the Bible so much. And found so many conflicting things. And for me, just everything, anything man-made can't be infallible. If anything, the closest to any type of religion I would ever follow is science. Because it's one of the one things that... <laughs> it's true. It's, and it, 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 Science exists is perfect because it says I'm not perfect. And I will adjust myself according to new information. So what if science, perfect. what if I can prove to you science backs up everything in the Bible? But it doesn't. It, really it refutes does. It. it really refutes it. Like no, it does. Like, oh, science, flood, science proves God. The flood with Noah's Ark is like the number one thing that really refutes. Like the whole like it's how not, because one when, when, when the earth flooded, it wasn't the earth. Back then, they didn't even know what the entire earth was. They hadn't even knew, known about North America or anything. Plus, the facts that there's artifacts and activities during the time that it, what, the whole earth was flooded. No. Also, what do you mean? You, it's, if if people were living there, yeah. No, so when the no. flood comes, there's going to be water carries things. Water but in the North and, America, there's no proof. But of water also damage remember, up to over that. this time of thousands of years, this is still like back then. This is like still borderline Pangea, where there was bridges, everything. And Mountains also, are still being formed. So where we find shit is now. Too. The Who's, the, that's that's the man-made shit, and that's where people get mad. Where it's like, but if the Bible is correct, then the Bible, both dimensions would have had to be. There, it can't be very, correct, and that's where it's like y'all are right with that. It can't because man has touched it. Really man is impure. That but that's why you ask for discernment. But that's that's where discernment. That there was no great flood. Though. Discernment. Oh. Like if you just read in the Bible just to read the shit, you ain't gonna take away what. Because if you get tripped up off of everything that doesn't go along with what science can prove and what you gonna get thrown off track. So you gotta take like the morals and the principles That's out why, of it. Like pretty much, I feel like Christianity just asks you to believe because it tells you to believe, and like it takes away your ability to think for yourself. <laughs> you accept like I don't. For me, it's just I have a huge issue too with that being the colonizers' religion. Because <laughs> I mean, I mean, I feel you. Like I know, I feel but you. It's just like. All also, like the fact that like we flourished as a people without Christianity in Africa, the people with Christianity, like our oppressors, the ones who do all the evil to us, the KKK, Christian. Okay, so what if like, so what if they were praying to what if God was simply saying, y'all, why are y'all praying to the sun when I am God? Like there is one, like you, what if that it is that one energy source? But what if that's all he was like? Instead of y'all praying to all this, y'all need to know, like who is really in charge. So instead of y'all praying to the God. sun, instead of y'all having Ra, uh, Asan, all of them, I am the true God. There is one God. And like, what if God is sitting up there like, why are you guys praying to Jesus and this God in the Bible when I am you God? You don't pray to him. You don't pray. Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit are all one. Yeah, I know. And I understand the Trinity. So you're not, you're not even praying. The, even the Bible refutes the whole Trinity because it says that like... Like the for them to be the Trinity, they would have had to coexist it, like continuously, and they not, and they they did. do without time. If you don't think about time, everything is continuous. I am thinking about without time, but it, it's just like the Bible. You have to really study the Bible. It refutes itself a million times. Like, but you and, just and said the, science. Science proves the thumbprint. You heard of the thumbprint of God, the Fibonacci sequence. Everything in life <laughs> comes from the Fibonacci sequence, including the galaxy. So who made that? If there is no God. Who has that divine right to make everything the same starting Is from really the moment of know? conception? I really think that we're a microscopic part of a whole other being. We like, are. 
like, a no. being oh yes oh because like everything when you look at everything everything is like created in the same type of like human society the earth it structures as an atom and as cells everything is made up after the same structure one base with orbiting items like an atom and then but we, that's in this this confine like without our material without us seeing i mean i don't know shit through about our vibration shit. it was talking about other dimensions then you know that's i mean but that can all be pretty much equated to the same thing because you have energy waves that keep the um all you know the atom together you know the whole energy pretty much in gravity that keeps everything tied together i mean that's all different levels of it and based on like it's just pretty much i think that like we're just all part of a smaller thing and we all have a functions. smaller thing i think that there's like how people think there's different galaxies like honestly i think that we're a cell or an atom on something bigger than us like everything like replicates yeah. itself ah yeah. like deep. every because everything that's repeats deep. itself yeah. Everything repeats itself. <laughs> and honestly, for me, like, I could really care less what religion people like, people are, what they pray to, who they pray to, as long as it encourages you to be a better person. Cool. Now, the reason why I have such a hard and sour spot for Christianity is one, because of how it's been used to attack my people and how people Shit. have used it. And it might be a mis. But I, and, and, I, and there's a lot of things in the Bible that I don't agree with that go against you know my spiritual beliefs as in you know like what? treating women as equal and you know it, it, like there are verses in the bible that condemns a woman for being raped if she didn't scream no there's well, not there is. That's a, no there's there, not. it really is i promise you there is no there is i promise you like you have to read the i've read the bible that's what but time. then okay if it if it was in there it was probably in the and no, that's like another thing. It's not this in the is what New the Bible Testament. said pretty much is if you live in the city, if you're in the city and you get raped and you don't scream, it's your fault because you must have wanted it because you didn't scream out to get help. Now, if hell country, nah. Yes, and if you're in the countryside <laughs> where there's not a lot of people, nah. then and you, scream, and, the and, you, yeah. and you don't scream, then it's okay because no one really around would have heard oh, you anyways. No, like, there, I that's promise you. If that's in there. I no. promise you, like that, and that's legit. That, it's Old Testament. But that is in like. But I'm okay, so the old, if it's in the Old Testament, then that's not what we're living by. Why would he have to change himself? Because he told that as law before, oh. God even follows laws of science. No, that's that was the law of the land. The Old that's Testament the is the law of the God. land. No, that's the New Testament. Moses, as soon as we got the Ten Commandments, those are God's principles. Everything before that is the law of the land. You were supposed to follow okay. the law of the land. Wow. That's the true. Book, but the book of the Bible is God's book, written by man, handed down from God telling people pretty much how to live like i look at the bible pretty much the same way i look at greek mythology that's only the new testament though like the, the old testament old. is more stories william shakespeare he had a hand in that that's why it's like it can't it's you have stories. to yeah yeah it's stories, stories and that's why you read with discernment in the new and old testament like i look at it like oh, i do greek mythology like they're good <laughs> stories God, but you know really? they have good life lessons but for me like what if it helps like i don't care who you pray to if you have to pray to mother mary and that makes you feel better you know kneeling standing if going to church makes you feel better praying to allah makes you feel better better uh, meditating you uh buddha i don't even care if you pray to satan as long as it makes you a better person no you got to i don't believe in satan like that's oh yeah, you, so, yeah like, I, I see what i'm you're just saying. like if it makes you a better person like now when you got people talking about all right so know. what is, what is evil what does evil come from uh -oh. god from god <laughs> that was easy from wait you're saying like our god like not your god but whoever from, your god is evil comes from according to the christian bible at I least say man or something. if you're talking about christianity god then yeah god how god created everything everything comes from him and his image <laughs> that face <laughs> and also it's impossible for man to be god that's another masochistic thing because when you think about it especially on on earth terms that's the white people the black woman sorry I that's what i'm saying like but that, you're looking but at the white people <laughs> like yeah. the original bible isn't even what the original bible was the first book of the bible is missing lolith and it never talks about his first wife and they don't there's like 23 books that are 28 something 32 books that are like, made the book of enoch that describes the fallen ain't like the books that are missing, they took but them out I for a reason. But I think what you have is every every because millennium because yeah. every millennium <laughs> comes up with a different version of, of religion in different areas of the world. There's different religions that evolve over time. Because when you look at it, like there was Greek mythology, then there was Norse mythology, and you know there was Roman mythology. Like it, it just evolves. Like 
Pretty so much, and that's what, what it is. Because like, what we do is we take the same basic stories, but then we adjust it to our time. Because nowadays, whereas like you know, if you want to go back to like the Crusades, Christianity was a war raging. You must follow this, or you're yeah, going to die. Yeah, yeah. Now, oh, fast forward into our our te- 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 age, we've changed Christianity, especially on the American frontier. Whereas it's like. Or you know, let me back it up a little more. When they when we have the pilgrims, when they came to America with their Christianity, it was you know, if you're evil, or you're a witch, you don't follow our stuff, you die. Now fast forward to nowadays with our Christianity that we have now, it is, uh, God is a loving God. God is accepting, you know, God loves all. That it, it changes. So therefore, like, nothing can be perfect, which is why I believe in science because science is like proven facts. That adjust to change over time. So the Fibonacci is. sequence. So what? Fib- what I was just saying. Oh. The thumbprint of God. The Fibonacci sequence. That is scientifically proven that everything sparks from the Fibonacci sequence. If we have that coming from atoms to human beings to dogs to the galaxies, how can there not divine creation? Can you make? Can you make a rose bleed? Why do humans only bleed? Like, I understand. Why? I understand. That. Oh, I believe in evolution, too, you know. In evolution? You don't think we came from apes, though? Mm-hmm. Huh? No. 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 So where we come from? This thing how to, like... <laughs> no, they tried to tell me that, for real. They said we came from dolphins. I mean, really? No bullshit. That. Evolution, that. evolution cannot be proven on a, um origenic um, state but right. it's very proven that like especially looking at plants you can tell which one derived from which you can do ge- genetic coding sequence so this is this you know bless you this came from this you know and then it adapted because this mutation occurred which allowed it to be better suited to live within this environment mm. or it adapted to live in this environment so mm. you know everything evolution evolutionary changes just like you know we have the muscles in our arms because if you like we used to climb trees more so we used to have a certain muscle in our arm that would like and i forget if you go like this you can see it pop out some people have it, yeah, some people yeah, don't thing. I got you it. know as okay. an evolutionary some people don't have it because they've evolved to the fact that you know they no longer need it being lactose intolerant has is a shine sign that you have not evolved humans did not used to drink cattle milk so the fact that our stomachs had to change over time to be able to drink it yeah Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, fact. Hundred percent. Right um, so we've evolved that people who are lactose intolerant have not evolved their digestive system to be able to tolerate milk. You know, just like our digestive tract is still changing, especially in America, is evolving because of the fact that we're eating more meat. So our stomach is changing to be able to accommodate the fact that we eat more meat because humans used to be uh, more herb- herbivoric. Eating grass no more. Just I can understand that. I mean, I mean, I don't think we. I mean, honestly, the animal, like, the, not, I don't want to say necessarily apes, but they're, yeah, like, yeah, it's their phones. Oh, I said, who is, is it? it? It's a, I heard a baby. I heard <laughs> um, a, I said, what? Yeah. Um, there's a species, you know, like, they're not that far off from us genetically. Mm-hmm. They're the one species that is very close to us genetically, and they are intelligent, you know, they can communicate. Yeah. They can learn sign language and language, you know, they can be taught. So, like, the fact <sighs> that, like, I think it's very kind of uppity that humans think oh i'm too good to have derived from an animal because it's just like we're living creatures and i don't think humans value life humans are so late and i like because you it it's like on a small on another scale we do it to white people versus black people oh i can't be like from africa because i'm nothing like black people and i'm better than black people whereas humans i can't derive from in a monkey because i'm so much better than monkey but what if it's not you're saying you're better what if it's saying Every species, not every species has its purpose. We fucked up our purpose I think by being are more the material. Species. We are, we are of everything. Everybody, every animal, and I found the out ecosystem. even mos- mosquitoes. Yeah. The one that animal I hate the most, mosquitoes. They mm-hmm. even have a purpose. They actually do serve as a survival food chain for fish. Oh. Get the fuck. Yes. I, I, what do I they do? do? What? Did, how do they? They are part of the fish's food chain. So they they, they eat them. Fish eat them. Get out. Yeah. Well. Yep. You didn't know that? I did not know that. And they're that flying low to the water. You know how mosquitoes like water sometimes and you see them at the lake yeah. and shit? Yeah. The fish is like... T- and they're up a lot. A certain, for certain fish, they're a huge part of their food chain, like their their food group. Um, but huh. every every animal has a purpose and they're able to co- like all coexist on this earth without killing the earth. Well, We're the only ones who want, think one, they don't, they don't pay to live on the earth. 
That's we're the saying. only idiots decided to pay for this shit. We fucked up. And then not right. only that, we're the only ones dumb enough to to ruin the home that we live. Like we're self disrupting. Like we're committing apoptosis. Like mm-hmm. I believe humans mm-hmm. are the cancer to the earth that is like the cell. Like so, what you think's gonna ha- so what you think's gonna happen in the future? How like do you see our future? Of course, you don't see how the Bible sees it. You think we're gonna be like on some iRobot shit or on some? <laughs> Me personally, I think I'm trying to get there. I, yeah, I don't right? know. Like, I try to like. I'm very conflicted because I, I I'm bipolar. So like, part of me is like super like po- uh, positive, and the other one is very optimistic. Part of me is like humans are so dumb. We're gonna kill the That's earth, and we're just gonna wipe ourselves out by uh, over pollution. And like, the rich are gonna realize that they're gonna just they're gonna die too because they're living off of us pretty much. And when we die. Mm-hmm. Yes, pretty much unless they find a way to fly to another planet have already got that one running so they can just just get there right you know unless they figured that out or humans are smart and we will turn this shit around and we will actually start like voting in people to run this shit that you know are actually intelligent and we'll fix this shit and we didn't do that last week we'll be able to survive better but no like I I just I'm not exactly or we could be acted upon by some outside you know source or movement um, I don't have any answers to things. The only thing that I have the answers for is what I've experienced in my lifetime that I can attest to. Uh. And that's why I attest to to religions and my understanding of it, of my study. Like, I won't talk about Islam because I'm not as versed in Islam. I have read the Quran. I see a lot of similarities between the Quran and, and the Bible. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know it well enough to be, oh, this, this, and that. I have a very big idea Abroad. because of what I've been told from from people in my family who are Muslim mm-hmm. and their understanding of it. Mm-hmm. But firsthand, I mean, I will only speak on Christian because that's the one that I know the most. I used to be a Christian mm-hmm. and I was read the Bible front and back because I, I came to a point in my life where I was very, I was like one of the girls that like had the Bible with, I would carry the Bible with me every day. Mm-hmm. Even if I was leaving out just to go to the mall, I would go out at East End and sit by the fountain and read my Bible. I had a purity ring. Like I would go to church yeah. when I lived in a house with people who didn't go to church as a child. I would have my grandma pick me up just so I could go to church. Yeah. I was on the dance team. I really, I was speaking tongues. I decided yeah. I wanted to get Stop. baptized when I was in the first grade. I chose yeah. that. Okay. Like I was very devout. But then I also came to terms that I wasn't straight. And, you know, I had a lot of doubts from the Bible because things just weren't making sense to me um, from what I knew of the Bible and, and, you know, my understanding of it. Because I was a very good child. Like, I would sit there and I would take, I would go out and tutor kids in the community and things like that. Like, I've always had that heart to service people and to love people and to be goodness. But I did everything I was supposed to. And I was to the point of where I tried to kill myself multiple times. And the Bible says, I will not give you too much for you handle. But the thing is, that was too much because I wanted to end it. Just because someone else stopped me and forced me to stay in this world does not mean that that wasn't too much. I broke. And it was just like, you said you won't leave me or forsake me, but you left me and forsaken me. I cry out to you and I don't even hear you anymore. I pray to you every night and you're not here. And that's when I stepped back, read the Bible, came to my understandings of it, and just told God, like, yo, I'm, I know you said be either hot or cold, be not lukewarm, for I was fewer from my mouth. And I was like, I'm feeling really lukewarm. And so I'm just going to bounce and try to understand this the best I can. I started studying other religions. I started learning about different religions. I finally came to a point where I could accept myself for, for being gay. I'm not like lesbian gay, but gay. <laughs> and to just, and I've been so much better ever since. All right. So what if I could tell you I could not explain your life situation I know, through the... You want to say Job? Huh? Job. No, 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 I was going to say about the, it's too much, like it's too deep, it, it'll take forever. Like, but that's the thing, it's like everyone has their own past, like certain people need Christianity because it's what helps them make be a better person, some people need Islam because that's what helps you be a better person, it's part of your path and part of your life and part of it fits in your belief system. Awesome. That's great for you. If you're, if that makes you be a better person every day, by far do it. I don't care if you go to mosque every day, church every day. If you're at Bible, if you're at church Sunday, Bible study Wednesday, and then yeah. church activity is on Friday, yeah. do your thing. If that makes you a better person. I'm all for it. But accept other people's paths too. Yeah. Because like yeah. I have friends who are. I mean, I have. I've had family before that is Jewish. I've had family that is Catholic, Christian, Muslim atheist like whatever i don't care like if you're a good person that's great my uncle i have uncles who 
I don't want to say all because I have family members who are Muslim and I hate them not because they're Muslim. I have Christian family members who are Christian. I hate them and not because they're Christian. Because whatever they're doing is not making them be a better person. <laughs> it's like you're in the wrong one. Word. But you know, like, it, okay, sir, sir, what it will be, what it will be, and what is, is what is. I don't have the answers. I'll find out. Sweet. But if God's going to punish me for having a mind and using it, you know, then why ever give me one? I think, <clears throat> sorry. Oh. Damn. So I was listening to your story, and then I was thinking, so if another person who was in a different religion went through the exact same things that you were going through, you're and it saying, sent them to Christianity, or no, that they were doing what they were just doing, but then their life changed, but they're still doing what they were doing. They were still praying to who they were they're praying with, you know, things like that. I, I feel like were you saying like because you were a Christian and you were doing right things and God. You think God punished That's you? That's just how I felt. Like I, Is that what I you felt like God punished. No, you? I felt like I was believing in something that didn't exist, and that. Um, so it wasn't working. Is what you were saying. No, it was it was the fact because there were times like that I thought it was working. Like I thought like I thought God answered my prayers to find my father when I didn't know who he was. I felt like God answered my prayers when I uh, switched from a bad school to a new school. I thought God answered my prayers when you know instead of being pet in children's services, my grandmother got trusted in me, but. I just realized that this book I was given, it wasn't it wasn't helping me. It wasn't making me a better person because that book it conflicted so much with who I was, and you know my experiences that it wasn't it was no longer able to make me a better person. It caused a lot of inner resentment, and it was because in Christianity you're taught to believe in a God and put your worries on on God. You know that God is in. in but that we were given free will, but God is one ultimately in control, and that we can't step out of His will. Like what He wants is going to happen, regardless if you want to be a part of it or not. You know, aka like Jonah in the well. You don't want to go, you're going to go anyways. You know, and for me it was just like you know, and there was like so much of it. You know, that's when I really lived with my dad. I experienced racism my whole like it was like being a slave. It felt like because I was living with white people who treated me like shit, and I was like doing a lot of shit that no one else was doing in the house. You know, I was here to take care of the woman, take care of the kids. You know, like I, and I, all the time I was being called a nigger, all the time I was getting abused. You know, it was like, I felt, I would be out mowing the grass and I'd start singing slave hymns, honestly. That's how bad it was feeling. But Oof. there are so many things that I could see throughout the history of Christianity and how it was made, affecting me that it was no longer beneficial. And I was just like, you know, I don't really believe in this. I believe it because I've been told it and rehearsed it. But when I'm using my, when I'm using my own mind and thinking for myself and thinking about how I feel about things, it doesn't fit with me anymore. So I need to leave it. That's why so I started what if it's religions. just, it wasn't, you can't without really, that's why I said like it's too deep. Like without understanding how spiritual laws work, like there's no way for you to even begin to comprehend and break down what happened to yourself and why it happened because like if i if i say the fact that you were raped and the fact oh no i that understand you, it as a cinderella effect is what I like what are say. like gay now no because that's like but that's a I that's a demon that principality happened. i mean but i'm saying like either way i've been raped by males and females so that had nothing to so do either way it happens that's a spirit that's on you Without you understanding that and without you knowing that you have to break a spirit and that demons ultimately evil controls this world, it won't, you can't, exactly, like, and that's because of what I you've been e through. No, like, I believe in evil energy, like for me it's like, like I understand my items to have, like some people, it, it, some things are like, like humans are like coal pretty much. You apply enough pressure, it turns into like Coal. 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 You you apply enough pressure and it turns into a diamond. But sometimes you take another piece of coal, you apply that same pressure and it'll break. You know. And I just believe that some things are meant to you know make us better people. I think everything is just transferred energy, like the transfer of energy of what happened to me. Flesh into right me now. Like we're all like this is all flesh and that energy you speak of. That's what I'm saying. I understand the energy shit, but it's like we're not our pure energy. We're not undefined energy right now we're in a fleshly body seeing this 3d you know holographic world if we were energy we would be able to see like microwave energy the tv energy right now but we're not so with us that even that goes to the bible saying that there are uh, principalities that we wrestle with and spiritual you know forces that we can't see yeah, but like, I think so if that's know, on you on you your flesh like demons and stuff, i feel like people relate <clears throat> demons to like like they humanize them 
Mm. As in, these are like like a ghost that is making you do bad things. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. equate it to like I can choose to be either left aligned or right aligned. Left aligned is the light, the goodness. Right aligned is evil. I can focus on myself and work on myself every day to make sure that what I'm doing is good. I can't control what happens to me. I can only control myself. Word. And that that's giving me mm -hmm. so much less worry because like all I worry about myself like my house could burn down today I could be homeless my mom could get killed I could lose my dog my fish could die you know like but how am I going to react to that mm. you know I control me you know Word. and that's the thing that that's the only thing that I focus on I don't focus on trying to control other people like even with being really like if you want to relate to our relationship like I can't control what Brent does or who he is or what happens within our relationship. All I can choose is how I react in our relationship. If I, if I'm in the relationship, you know what my relationship is with him. You know right. that's all I control. I can only control myself, so I don't worry about what he does. You know it doesn't. I don't be sitting there worrying like, oh, is he gonna cheat on me? Why is he liking this girl's picture on Twitter or whatever? Right. I don't care. Right. Like I can only like he can because I he can only do to me in our relationship what I allow him to do mm -hmm. you know like if he hauls off and hits me he hit me but I can choose whether or not I allow to stay in a relationship for him to hit me mm -hmm. not that he would ever would you know mm -hmm. I'm just saying like he's not as an excuse mm -hmm. or an example and so like that's all I feel like issues with religion is people try so hard to control other people and that's where I'm at with it is I don't care what other people do and how they react to it is how they react to it all I care about is if your if your reactions help make this world a better place. Cause you have whatever happened to Trump. Now he president and he will over here making life hell for everyone. That's not working for you, bro. Whatever religion you're doing, whatever you're doing in your life, with spirituality, whatever, it's not working for you. Like I I care only so much as it affects me. If whatever you're doing, like 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 certain people, like I'm not I'm I don't like drugs. I've never been a part of that. You know what I mean? Like that's not mm -hmm. something I agree with, especially mm -hmm. not for myself. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. But if someone's doing cocaine, you know, but they're going to work every day, paying their bills, and not wild with it, you know, yeah, they're just, who are you, you know, to knock them? it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. your life. We'll you know what I mean? <laughs> when you start smoking, doing cocaine and you know, running <laughs> down, <laughs> breaking people's windows, and you're crazy shit, then it's like, nah, fam. I only care to it as it relates to me. If it doesn't affect me or it's not negative energy or evil, Word. Or whatever. Word. do whatever. Do you? Huh? Because we're humans. I don't think that we're smart enough to understand the reality of what is. I think we think that we're smart enough to think about it, but to understand completely, no. So all of us just need our different paths to make us good people. And if believing in Allah or Buddha or Jesus or nothing makes you a better person, you're do all it. for it. Word. Word. Now, I, I can say that I have theories and I think about like me and my friends like you were talking about, you know, different like our theories about how everything seems to be like structured the same and just everything's bigger or smaller but structured the same. Like we were thinking about that. Like now I don't know that for sure. I can't say yes, this is true, this is proven fact. I'm like I notice these similarities and things and I think that it could like it would it be wouldn't it be crazy if this was real? And I don't have the answers for everything. I could die and go to hell. I don't fucking know, you know, because mm -hmm. I was like, I told you I have to stay Christian, what'd you do? Mm -hmm. Going to hell now. Like, I, I I could go to heaven, I could go to purgatory, I could go to paradise, I could go be reincarnated, I could just not exist anymore. Go up the I don't street. know. Mm. I don't have the answers for that. I don't know. I'm not going to act like I do know. But I, just things that I think might be true, and these are things that re that better work for me. Word. To help you. I believe I'll find out one day. One day. Sometimes like, I don't know. Like like back when I was younger, I'm like, wouldn't it be cool if we could just die and figure it out? <laughs> like, yeah, but, like, right. But and not like, yeah, not die, right? Like, yeah, like, yeah. like someone kill me real quick. Yeah. Right? Like if you could do like let me find out. Like, oh, well, like okay. is there heaven or hell? I don't know. Uh, Come here real quick. Let's find out. Sure. Oh, there's heaven and hell, bro. Like you yeah, and I yeah. found out where you're Man, going. I saw some <laughs> shit, homie. <laughs> Like, yo, Hold up. Tupac, you try. what's up? Okay. Tupac and Big say hi. <laughs> just, you know what I mean? But, like, be... I don't have the answers. But whatever. If it makes you be a Sweet. good person, all for it. Ah. But don't try to control other people. Come to the home video. <laughs> I was waiting on it. Where we discuss movies. And. Religion, apparently. Yeah. Everything. We talk a about thing. all kind of Fuck. shit. You want to talk about something more fun, though? Yeah. You want to talk about something we can all agree on? What is that? Racism sucks. Ah, right. this is true. Do okay. any of y'all watch Roseanne? <laughs> there you go. No. Oh, she don't know. Dude. 
Uh, now, oh, no, she oh, said some racist said. bullshit. Let me find them. She find is the it. only white person this year who has been held accountable for the racism. <laughs> like, you know why though? We'll talk about it. <laughs> why? Yeah, why? I know she got like a history. Like it's not like she hasn't been racist, but oh yeah, it's been going down. <laughs> nah, but the I show got taken up. Rosanna, that's what that's <laughs> Rosanna, <laughs> Rosanna, um. ABC canceled Roseanne today. Here's how it happened. All right. ABC canceled its hit sitcom Roseanne on Tuesday after the show's biggest star, Roseanne Barwin, on a racist Twitter rant. Mm. Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values, and we have decided to cancel her show, ABC said. In one of her tweets, Roseanne wrote, and I quote, Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby equals VJ. She was responding to a comment about Valerie Jarrett, a top former aide to President Obama, who is black. So she compared the black woman to the Planet of the Apes and the Muslim Brotherhood. Barr had earlier apologized and said she was now leaving Twitter, and that came months after the show had huge top ratings. Wow. Did she know this woman, this black woman? What did this black She was an aide for Obama, and she don't fuck with Obama, so she be trying to talk shit about stuff all the time. Did this black woman talk about Rosanna? No. No. Did this black woman watch Rosanna? Nope. Does this black woman has anything to do with She's Rosanna? She's just being racist, huh? So Rosanna was just saying, hey, this black woman who I don't know, I'm just going to compare her to some Muslim. To it's, a, Muslim. it's a joke. Oh, mm. it's a joke, mm. she said. Oh, did you air quote that? She said I air quote that? Uh -huh. No, she I said that. that. She said she was like jokes. I'm trying to find others like the response she, she put up. It's a joke. Well, I, mm. I put the air quotes with it. She's ah. saying, I'm saying it's a joke. Oh. You, know, she, you know she ain't joking. Oh. It's the same person that had dressed up like Hitler. You, did you see this shit? It had no. the burnt Jew cookies. She 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 dressed what? up like Hitler and had a tray of cookies that's supposed to be like Jewish, but they were like burnt at the legs and shit. And she was taking a pit like a photo shoot doing that shit. Oh, I'm German and that shit pissed me off. Like, I have nothing to do with any of that, and that shit pissed me off. Like that's, that's the whole I'm point. Not, of I'm, not, I'm, not sure like, I'm not even Jewish, but it's like you don't do shit like that. Like you don't. That's it like, doesn't matter. Like Damn. that, who the fuck you are? That's wrong. Period. Mm -hmm. The fuck. Oh, you hear about uh, Prince Harry dressing up in his father's a uh, uh, grandfather's Nazi costume when he was younger, mm. and when he went to uh, yeah, I saw it that called, show. Uh, it's called Colonist Party. He was like, oh, he was mm. like high school, too. like high school, or college, yeah. one or two. Yeah. Mm. I just showed him the picture, y'all. Mm. When was this photo shoot? Like a couple of years ago, I think. A couple of years ago. That's the thing. So that's what I was gonna comment on too with the ABC things. Everybody's all like, because I was gonna. The thing I was gonna say is ABC cancel because there's a black chick running ABC. So, fuck out of here. But this Damn is the thing. Right. But everyone wants to be like applause yeah. to ABC. But this is the thing. I know applause to ABC. Yeah. There you this go. is the thing. Y'all allowed this racist ass show to, to be. Start you in the gave first it a place. platform. Yeah. You gave racism a platform, and as a black person, especially a black woman, you should be ashamed of, that, of yourself for that. Second of all, the only reason why they pulled it is because her actions started to hurt their bottom line and their yeah. bottom dollar Man, because ABC it was being too racism mm -hmm. and it was hurting their monetary income. That's the only reason why they stopped it. Yeah, they don't give a fuck until it cuts their pockets. Yeah, yeah. that's the only time you get. So no, you don't get accolades for that. Shit. Fuck you. No accolades. Yep. You know what I think about that sir. Roseanne remake? I didn't watch the episode, but you know, they supposed to be all like kind of Trump support racist and shit, but there's like a little black girl on that show. Oh. Yeah. Did you there's know a that? little black girl on Roseanne. Yeah. What she look like? Did she, she got dark, the fro. dark with a big fro on her head? What the fuck? Okay, so fuck? she looking fucking Hold on. I want to show you. Hold on. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, that doesn't count at all. So they don't know. No, Dude, they have to go through a line and pick them like, no, no, I no. I told you that a long you, time ago. Cute black girl that. right there. Yes. Got you. Always. Wow. Wow. Oh, but she's so cute. Her <laughs> curls are really cute, though. Yeah. You know. They got her. They I got know. her. That's why they picked her. It's Ooh. a little girl. She's an orphan? She's somebody's, like, granddaughter. I think she was, like, the son's daughter with a black chick or something. So she'll be, like, mixed or something, I guess. I don't know. She's okay. supposed to be. I can't, mixed I comes out in every... In all I didn't say... I know. <laughs> nigga Riley, I know. She's, dark as shit. Okay. She, she snapped. Yeah. I was about to say, I'm like, don't come for us mixed people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, Sorry, I'm my mixed girl. I have to, you know, I got three different races. We got white, I black, got and black, for it. White, like black, and black, and mixed. Like, <laughs> 20 mixed... <laughs> Damn. Every time I say something, I'll mix your dad. Like, I said a race, a non nationality. Oh, okay. I'm say, every time you say something, like, I'll mix your dad. Like, <laughs> the races are just three white, black, Native American. Well, mm. and then there's mixed. That's not really a race, uh -huh. it's a joke. Mm. Ain't that some shit? It's some shit. Damn, Roseanne. Roseanne Good. Fuck that money up. Good. They said a lot of that shit because you know Wanda Sykes was even like a producer or a writer on the show. 
the Wanda Sykes? The Wanda Sykes, the black one. What the fuck was she doing on there? That's what everybody said. They was like, oh, Wanda Sykes left the show. I was like, what the fuck was you even doing there? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. See, that's what I was going to say, like, because I was going to say maybe she didn't. Maybe she got Wanda know, to no, help. No, didn't know about it. What? Did about Wanda? Roseanne? Yeah. She, she had to be agree. Like, like, this ain't nothing new. Everyone sells out for a certain amount. That's so sad. Yeah. 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 Don't say everyone. Yeah. Don't say that. That was a broad generalization. Don't say to hurt some else. Yeah. What? Some else fun going on? What? Pusha T versus Drake. Damn right. I know PJ want to talk about that. Damn right. Oh, no, no, PJ. This the rap thing. You Man, know this, this shit is amazing. I think Drake, if Drake... Look, I'm all right, shocked. So Drake what? <laughs> oh, you shocked I'm that. shocked that this is... Because you ain't know... You, you, you ain't I, know the I back story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was shocked when the camera I'm like, wait, what yeah. is this happening? Yeah, he just dropped something else, but he came I at... Know. Oh, you heard it? Drake dropped something else? Oh, no, he did. No, Pusha T. Oh, he's yeah, he's like, he like a whole morning. mixtape. No, I heard it this morning. Did you? He's about to Drake Drake. He said he's about, he's about to drop he a whole that, mixtape. In that first song he put out, he said he's going to do it slowly. Like, make sure it's going to be a surgical summer. Like, yeah, it's a mixtape yeah, title. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, but he talked about uh, his yeah, mans yeah. having MS. Well, I'm saying he got love, love, love uh, for the mic. He talked about his baby story. mama. Shout out to Drake's baby mama. Yeah, and baby, his baby and his son. There. Yeah, yeah, his son. <laughs> by the oh, porn son. star. Yeah. She does softcore porn. Oh. So, can I ask what is softcore porn? Softcore porn is when there's no visible penetration. How is that porn? It's like, you know, you know, you know like watch Cinemax back in the day, like it's the like little porn movies on Cinemax. Where it's like yeah, they look like they're the like fucking that, yeah, but they're yeah, not showing it actually yeah, like yeah, yeah that's what yeah. it is. When you're like doing doggy style and all you see is the, the ones with the socks. All you, all you see is Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not even the yeah. socks, they just don't even show it. Uh, like like he's put fucking her up the ass, but they're like he's like not pulling back real far, like he got a real small dick or something, so it's like he's like <laughs> we're going, we're going, we're going, going baby. Or oh, they just oh. show the girl like sucking dick but all you see is like the head and shit or something like that. Uh, to eating well. the pussy and they just show his head between her legs and all that and there's like the little music in the background. Mm. There you the go. Subtle music. But the Drake beef? Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. Tell them exactly um, what happened. Yeah. Back, background. Background. Yeah. Because it started out pushing. How T did put the, out I was? He pushing T put out an album and he made a. There was a line about Drake in there, something about his ghost writing. How long ago about was this? Like Quentin a, Miller. A little week ago. Okay. Yeah, about Quentin Miller. Yeah. It was it, called uh, Infrared. Infrared. Is the name of the song. Infrared. Yep. yep. And he was saying that yeah, Drake had. Quentin Miller writer shit, nigga. And then it was, he was talking about some shit with Birdman. Yeah. And like Wayne like back in the day. Uh-huh. I don't know no, what Birdman the fuck that was. all their money and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Then Drake came out with this song like I think Duppy like freestyle. the next day or yeah. the day after. Like yeah. somewhere real soon after. Yeah. The Duppy freestyle. He had some bars in there, but then Pusha T came back. He said something about... Six, six, he put yeah, all his, said, yeah, everything. <laughs> Every line was everything. Yeah, taking direct shots. Yeah, that's what Trevor yeah. Noah says. Like he did the twenty three and me and got us information like, about him. And yeah, shit. <laughs> like direct shots. I haven't listened shots. to it. I've seen his lines from him. Man, that shit is like I don't think Drake really wants to smoke. Like Pussy T's like. There's he's a lot of people saying that shit. Drake beat him in this so far. There's a lot of people that's on Drake's side. Because he's fucking Drake? Drake. Mm, probably. No, Pusha T definitely man. Drake's Drake. Like, what Drake did to Meek Bill is what Pusha He backed to back them, yeah. 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 Like, now we're going to drop Meek this. You got your response. Like, wow, he about to put all yeah, right? that right? <laughs> Karma <laughs> comes back around. Pusha T was like, shot fire. He about to put Aubrey back in a wheelchair. Damn. <laughs> that should have been a line. That should have been a line. That should have been a line. I sent you that video, didn't I? What? There was a video I thought I sent it to you where they had... They put Pusha T's head over to do that shot him in Degrassi or something. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can find it again real quick. Damn. Yeah, he bought it. I don't think Drake really, because Drake is like, well, first of all, he had Ghost Riders. And we all know this. So it's only so far that. Most rappers got Ghost Riders. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel as if, not to say, you know, don't got bars, but. Pusha T, he writes all of his own. He don't got Ghost Riders. That's raw time. And he's, yeah, he's coming at this nigga and just. He's so you call you label. calling it the Drake losing this, right? Yeah, yeah. You know unless because I don't know what he didn't came at his friend that is like his baby whole life is baby moms and his son, alleged son. I have a question, y'all. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Did Drake have a, a Ghost Rider for back to back? Back to back. If he did, then you still lost that, my nigga. You can't. I don't know. I mean, that sounds like some Drake shit with his bars, but. 
That's cool. what I'm saying. That shit, that was his second shit coming at Meek Mill. Pusha T, his second shit, that was flame. Like, he flamed him every bar. I don't think Drake can... Flamethrower. Yeah, like, do that. He, he ain't there. He a pop rapper. You know, you know, honestly, though, like... Well, you know, Pusha T, when Drake's came out, everybody was all hyping it. And I wasn't really feeling it. Because, what? I don't know, I just... This song sucked to me nowadays. Like, I'm glad they're getting better, like, Pusha T. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you compare any of this shit to, like, Hit Him Up or No Vaseline yeah. or something, like. Dude, that's what Pusha T. That's, that was like, that's the closest, closest to it. Yeah. Drake's was still yeah. kind of like. Like, when people make diss songs now, they want still people to, like, dance to them and shit. So they, like, they make them sound radio for yeah. diss records. But, like, No Vaseline's just like, no. Yeah, what was uh, Nikki's? Vaseline. Nikki's was even a pop oh, one. Yeah. That, oh, the oh, one with Ross. Remy. She the one that she hey, had. Yo, the, I been on. Yep. I no, been no. On. The other one with Wayne and. The oh, dinosaur, he said something about a, uh, you know the one, that one. When she came back from Remy Ma. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was even a dance I forget, kind I of. No frauds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't wanna fraud. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't okay. Wanna. All right, you know it's still commercial. I see. Yeah, it's like commercial oh, disc records. Yeah, yeah. And I see said something back in the day. I'll never forget because I agree with him. He said it ain't a real disc record if you don't say the motherfucker's name in the song. Ah. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Or yeah, some kind of like hey, they yeah. go bar like you motherfucker. I'm talking to you. That's people go sing. What about um, Queen Latifah's diss track? To who? I don't even remember. I don't even remember what the hell you talking about. I mm. listened to it though, and it was fucking. Mm. I, I believe it. I don't remember who she was, she was talking about. She was snapping at someone, and all it I'm happened a lot back in the day. Don't mess with. I me. wish, yeah, right. Don't mess. With like she, she, she like, like just, oh, y'all think I still ain't got it because I don't say nothing now. <laughs> like, uh, no, let me tell you why they call me the queen. <laughs> like, how long ago was it? Back it was in the 90s. I thought it was recent. Was it recent? Oh, you talking uh, about some recent video? Yeah, I think. Oh, also, like I thought it was some old school. You talking about some new? I don't know. I don't yeah. know at all. Yeah. 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 Where my phone? Let me look because I remember I was shocked yeah. because I was scrolling through. I think Facebook and I saw a link for it. And I was like, How long is it? My queen. Visit. Yeah. Because I love when they feel like that's mine. Yeah. Yeah. She had. I tell you, one of the best like female rapper diss songs, motherfuckers probably ain't even hit to his MC, MC Light. Ten percent diss, you already yes. know. That is my shit. The whole song. Yes. She actually, I think she had two songs. I think they were both the same person. She Foxy had ten percent diss. Oh, Foxy Brown. Yeah, I believe that. One year oh ago. yeah, I remember that ago, now. Year ago. To who? Watch it. Foxy Brown. Queen Latifah to Foxy Brown. Are we about to oh, watch this? Oh yeah, yeah. Let me see that. I just want to. My favorite is Foxy Brown was getting jail talking shit about Queen Latifah. I don't know if it's about her directly or not. 10% this. Because I'm just about ready to fly this. Let's fuck for you. Let's fuck for you. Let's fuck for She said the name. Mm hmm. That's what I said. Yeah, let him know. Oh, oh, she on that New York shit. Okay. Kill this bitch. Hey, this is Queen Latifah, and this is what I would do. Yeah, boom. Yeah, yeah, Latifah. Not the triumph beat. Yeah, right. It's Wu Tang. <laughs> like Lauren with these fish. It's like who? Lauren. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know what she said to make do this. She had to make home. Is that full clip? No, no, okay. I thought that was full The gang's not shit. I thought so. That's another movie I never seen before. Never seen we gotta watch it. That's my shit. That is this is good, Huffle Month. Oh. Put that shit. <laughs> If you want Brit to watch, set it off for Hood Hustle Month. 
please yeah, let us said, know. That is a clear one. Please moment. let us Cleo know. Cleo is a real one. Like, that's yes. my queen in my ooh. Like, Cleo. Cleo. Damn. Yeah. Oh. And it fire goes off. Cleo is a real rider or die. Like, Bonnie, fuck Clyde. It's Cleo. Yeah, you know. she, damn. Cleo, like, like, let us know. I seen bits of that movie. I just know she got, like, chopped the fuck up. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. That shit nigga cried. She did it for her girls, Girl, man. I cried. I cried. I did shut up. I was sitting there. Did I was like, no. When she was, was looking good. out the window. She said that she lit the cigarette oh. and shit. Oh. <laughs> I know. Doing a Harlem shit. That shit. I laughed. Really I'm sorry. That, oh that was. She did some um, phenomenal. Phenomenal. phenomenal job yes. In that movie. Yeah. They all did for real. For real. they all played. The exactly only thing that part. killed me in that movie was the fact that she was always taking the CDs and throwing. I'm like, they're going to get your fingerprints. Seriously. I was like, mm. Mm. If you, if you ever, if that ever is pulled, I want to watch that. The fuck that part is I bought the Blu-ray, yeah. but then oh, we're Amazon gonna sent it to me and it was they fucked up, so know. I don't have it now. That's like a movie. Yeah, they're going to let us know. Y'all let us know if for Hustle, no, the, Hood, the Hood the Hustle. Hood hustle. Females re- lo- re- roll this. Oh, this movie. You don't even have at least one way for the Hood females, because they can't just... That's what I'm saying. Things. I had a movie for that, but it's not that. The Hood females. <laughs> Uh, if I was gonna be a hood chick, female hoods be on If I was gonna be a hood chick, like if I was really gonna be committed to this shit, I would have to be a Cleo. Hmm. Or the girl who got away because she Jada, was don't say the girl that got away because that would be me, girl. You know, don't get away. You're gonna <laughs> fuck up my Oh She lay low. Yeah, she lay low, she cut her hair, oh moved God, to the to... beach. Well, I got one final story for you, PJ. Man, what is that? I thought this might you might get a kick out of this because you got kids and shit. Oh, I think it's shit. funny because I don't have any. Okay. But there's a movie coming out. Have you heard of it? It's called The Happy Time Murders or some shit like that. Mm. Oh, I'm going to show you this trailer real quick. We're going to have a live mm. reaction to this trailer. We're going to review this shit. Mm. So I'm curious because there's a... Once you see this trailer... It's a kid know, movie? No, that's it? the thing. It's not... Ah. It's made at the dude, Jim Henson's son, the dude that created the Muppets. Yeah. He's directing it and making it. And, but people aren't happy about it. Why? What are they You'll see. Oh, shit. What is it called? The Happy Time Murders. The so that, Happy Time Murders. And how old is this, this kid that's Let me hold this directing this? There you go. I can't see it. Mm-hmm. Hi, you folks. So it's got Muppets and real people running around like on some Roger Rabbit type shit. Chopping up Muppets. Hey, handsome. You looking for some rotten cotton? I'm a woman. That's okay. That's even better. <laughs> That's even better. I'm not using that guy Ice Cube playing in the background, too. I was like, oh, shit. That's what I said. All ses- no Sesame, all street. Some of the fucking FBI. Oh, yeah? What's that stand for? Fucking big idiots? Ah! Yeah, Ice Cube playing. Ooh. <laughs> oh, here you go, PJ. <laughs> You're doing your move. <laughs> I will watch that. I will too. That's not a kid. That's not a kid. Yeah. It's not at all. But guess, guess who's suing them for this shit now? The Sesame Street people. 
Why? Because there's a tag that, that, that's that people oh, because the tagline "No Sesame All Street." So that's in a way. Oh, just take it. Come off, on, man. Ah, they said money. Okay. Here Believe me, that mo- that movie is not going to come out and not have nobody trying to like, fuck with it. Right. Right. Yeah, I would see that. I'm trying to see that shit. That sounds funny. That's hot. That's how yeah, I know. I, I, yeah, this is the type of shit I would like. Yeah, it's right. Fucked up kid shit. That's been oh, well, that shouldn't. They shouldn't make that because that could be falsely marketed to kids, or kids can watch that and they might think you it's kid friendly. Your dad too. I know, right? Exactly. Why would they watch my that? Point. Oh, it's just the like hell? when that fucking sausage party movie came oh, out. Oh, I wanted the kids to watch see that? that. Yeah, we wanted to see I that. No, that I said movie. the kids watch that. Oh, your kids watch it. No, I said. Oh, did, oh, did they say kids? No, but that was the thing. There's like, oh, kids might see this and they might think it's something they need to watch. It's that rated R. You should, you should like. I don't give a fuck. You should tell your kids that you are a bad parent. Then. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's that's like, like, why like, are you just picking up movies that you're not? Yeah, like, like, exactly. Like, 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 research. Like, research. Like, like, research. Like, like, research. Like, 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 I've seen, I've read all the kind of articles about the kids. They just get the kid the phone. They be on YouTube with the kids section. But there be weird ass shit on there My sometimes. My baby mom. Oh, true no. story. What did she do? She said he was watching some shit. They said, she said it was, uh, she, it was on YouTube. And it says it's the kids show. Mm-hmm. But it's also, it's some dark shit. Yes, yeah, it's like, like some it old weird Peppa ta- Pig shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, really like talking like about killing themselves and yeah. shit. Like suicide and shit. Yeah. Like yeah. Like she was like, he friends. found that. I don't know no, how. I mean, he, like actual, like it's it's like the actual kids show. But they like redubbed it or did yeah, some weird Yeah, did it over it. And then did graphics on it and shit. How you treat friends was like that type of shit we just watched. That was made for adults. But they take actual kids shit and doing stuff to it. Yes. And it's in the kids section. know what parents to parental control is on these yeah, things I said, because why? growing up I had parental control on the TV it was on oxygen my mom would let me uh, watch because of Bad Girls Club yeah. but you know I had to go downstairs yeah. on the big TV I couldn't watch in my room but yeah. But yeah, things like be no with BT sometimes because they show movies at night time late at night that she didn't want me watching mm-hmm. so and I'd be up sometimes mm-hmm. you know you my sister has all yeah. of her kids um, iPads and they go on YouTube mm-hmm. freely as mm-hmm. you see there's printed control on that mm-hmm. shit like they don't mm-hmm. and that's the thing like part of it is the fact that these kids are having technology too young because us growing up like we I agree young. and like that's the thing like I, I got had, a phone in 10th 11th grade that's like, what I like, I, did, <laughs> I was a little bit spoiled I mean I didn't have one in 6th or 7th 6th grade I think well, y'all, I just, y'all, y'all, y'all younger than us yeah, yeah. I got my first phone mm-hmm. when I was 9 but it was oh, a brick no, it was a brick Nokia and it was like only that's for my, my first parents phone. Cause I'd go down the street sometimes over my friend's house and that way they could call me if I was over my friend's house tell me to come home and stuff. Mm. But like yeah, I could only call them mm. family members. They had a like program where these numbers in the phone I could call. And like it had minutes. Mm. Mm. And, oh, I mean I could play Snake Point though. <laughs> my yeah. phone my mom used to put minutes on my phone, but then she realized why? Mom, I'm out. Damn it, Shayla, it's been two days. Oh, I was fucked. If I ran out of minutes, she'd be like, you're fucked. No, yeah, wait, wait. The thing was, I needed to get back and forth to school. I was in a lot of after school shit. Mm. I was vice president. I was a cheerleader. I was everything during. So I needed, you know, rides. Not she was her working. So yeah. I need to call people. Call friends. Let her know, hey, mom, I'm at the, this house. Mm-hmm. Like that. So, so yeah, that unlimited plan. Mm-hmm. Remember that call me after nine when I'm minutes straight? Yeah, call me after nine. <laughs> <laughs> if you had spring, was spring was after shit. seven. Yeah. So yeah, spring, like, yeah, call me after seven. Yeah. That is so funny. Mm-hmm. I used to do that. Do they still do that? I know it's all yeah, unlimited. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can hear your friends and be on the phone for hours. <laughs> Like three ways somebody you be on the other line like being quiet on mute just listening to this shit. Yeah. Man, how many times Jeff had me do that shit with people? You caught like, so many that. niggas cheating that way. So many. We yes, ambushed them that's niggas. Funny. Yes. Like, that's oh, funny. you trying to slide up in my DM, but you ain't my best friend? That's funny. Damn. Hey, yo, Andrea, watch what you're doing. Stay online, about to call. Right? They got to. Damn, Come I'm on. Old. No, they do. No, they different that. now. Now they do it FaceTime. Ah, that's true. Yeah, where you at? Do that, do that. And they write the same right there. Uh huh. So what you doing? And they sitting right there. That's what they do. These kids now. Are not upgraded, right? Yeah. Upgrade. Damn. Yep. But we screenshot now. It's like uh-huh. <laughs> got those receipts. <laughs> That's how that shit got. Oh Snapchat. my god! The last dude I talked to Snapchat. before Brent legit. He was like, I could tell he was on some foo foo shit, but I didn't have time because I was really like, I was busy with school shit going on and shit. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, you know what? I ain't got time to address this, but I'm gonna catch because I don't like to just like leave because mm-hmm. like I understand I have mental illnesses, so that makes me second guess myself when I be making people doing shit. Mm-hmm. I've always been right though, mm-hmm. so no, I was like, right. I was like, yeah. you know what? 
I was like, I'm gonna let, you know, we gonna, we wasn't talking as much, but he was, it was supposed to be a monogamous situation. He was trying to pussyfoot his way around whether or not he wanted to be together, even though he kept bringing it up. Mm-hmm. Like, he didn't want me, pretty much he wanted me on lockdown, but he kind of wanted it. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. it's like, he, my best friend, shout out to the bestie, he hit me up and was like, hey, you, ain't you talking to a nigga named so and so? And I was like, yeah. He was like, ain't he Hawaiian? I'm like, he Hawaiian. Yeah, Hawaiian. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, I was like, yeah, he like, he all up in my other homegirl's DMs trying to slide up in there, fam. And I was like, oh, for yeah, real? Yeah, it goes down. Screenshot receipt sit. I was like, nice to know. So, nigga. Like, yeah, those screenshots be coming in handy. Yeah. And shout out to the bestie again for that. Mm. Mm. Oh, I guess we're coming up to the end of the show now, man. All right. I guess y'all I enjoy that? Yeah, it's a long episode yeah. for you. We had, how we, we had 219 right God now. God damn. So, yeah, I'm not editing Damn. a lot of this shit either. Yeah, right? Just leave it all in. <laughs> Fuck. Just let me let them know where to find us at, though. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you should do that. Find us on the Twitter. Mm-hmm. I am at capital H, capital V, capital H, capital P, lowercase I, R-K. cast, HVH podcast. PJ is at capital P, lowercase Ollie, capital P, lowercase J, Pauly PJ. Mm-hmm. On Facebook, we are facebook.com slash HVH Podcast. Mm-hmm. Instagram, we are Home Video Hustle Podcast. Mm-hmm. Put in the search bar, I'm sure it will be there. Mm-hmm. Go to YouTube, type Home Video Hustle in that search bar, I'm sure it will be there as well. Mm-hmm. And we have videos every Wednesday. Mm-hmm. If you want to know, we're going to talk about next Friday, or every Friday, any Friday, whenever we put the episode up. Go there on Wednesday. There will be a video showing you what we're going to talk about. Redbubble.com. Hi. Go to that yes. search bar, type in Home Video Hustle or HVH Podcast. I assure you we'll be there. And what is Redbubble? It's a, uh, what, do you, what, would you, what would you call that? Mm-hmm. A merchandise website. Oh, there you go. Okay, you can okay. buy our merchandise. You can buy t-shirts with me go. and PJ's face on them. Oh, if you would you like, like that? that you get your hustle on in real life. Yes. Let everybody know what your favorite show is. What else we got out here? You want to tell them about your Instagram page? They want to follow the hip hop? At Pauly underscore 614 underscore P-E-E. Parley 614P. Parley 614P. Yeah. Next week, man, I guess we're going to keep it hood. Mm-hmm. Don't know what yet. Set it off. If you want him to do <laughs> set it off, tell us, please. He's doing it regardless. That <laughs> shit, watch. Everybody, yes, please. We need I, your votes. I know they get fucked up at the end. Yes. Well, see, okay, we got to figure this out. What we'll, we'll, we'll else we say we want to do now? Set it off. Uh, killer season. Killer season. Belly. Fuck. That's it. That's four. Who says it has to be a month? That's true. Huh. Ah. Good year. Yeah, right? Good life. <laughs> Thug life. Thug life. <laughs> Every day of our life. Get down. Or lay down. And if you lay down. You stay down. Damn right. State property. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, let them know that I'm Brent. And I'm PJ. Have a good Friday. Have a good rest of it. Have a good whatever the fuck day you're listening to this on. Yes. Have a good morning, night, evening. Works wherever the fuck. I don't care. I don't know where you at. Wherever you at. Yes. Have a good whatever. Yes. Listen to the show every Friday. Come back next Friday. Mm-hmm. Watch the video on Wednesday. Check out all our podcasts. Castaway homies. They got shows too. Oh shit. Um. Well, as y'all hear this, I should have two episodes. I did a show with everything I learned from movies. We talked about the hardcore with Jean Claude Van Damme, Vivica Fox. Mm-hmm. Then I recorded an episode with the. Uh, what were they thinking podcast mm-hmm. talking about Alone in the Dark Uwe Ball movies trash mm. so you definitely want to check that one out <laughs> there goes that review so after you hear this if you haven't already go hear them two shows to hear me talk more about movies and shit yes because we barely we barely like, this is about like two and a half minutes. hours yeah 30 minutes we probably talked about that movie because it was like 10 20 minutes almost where we even got into it yeah yeah damn this was a good episode it sure it was Welcome back, guys. Yeah, PJ came back and it was long as fuck. Yeah. Welcome back, welcome back. That's my shit. All right, Mace. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) The whack version. Wait, you talking about the Mace version is your shit? No. Oh, fool. I'm about to get out of here. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, you talking about the Mace version? I don't know. Oh, was he giving me the finger? I don't know who Mace is. Mace is a rapper. Bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. P. Diddy? What's the other version? I mean, there's the original version the that he sampled. I think that I was talking about. I'm sure you were. I was the joke was the oh. Mace version. That's the joke because oh, nobody I likes saying, that I version. I was crap for sure. So I'm like, no. I'm like, I listen to old school music. You know, I don't think. Uh, 
Mace, Mace, when he came back, put out his little return album. Yeah, that was his main song. I think that was the title of the album, too. Was it? Yeah, yeah, it was, actually. Wow. He had, like, the little cap on the front of his When head I think of Mace, down. I think of uh, This Is Why I'm Hot, whatever his name is. You remember Mims? that? Mims. Ooh. When he came back. When music, he came back. Music is my savior. Yes. 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 Oh, how the there fuck you go. That? <laughs> that was the... That was that era when Mace came back. I love when people... Like their first song, they come out with it, something like called like "This Is Why I'm Hot," and then they just fall the fuck <laughs> off. This is why I was hot. This is why I was hot. This is not why I'm not. <laughs> I always love that shit. They call it the big brag, right? Because that was around that fucking ringtone song yes. period. Where there was people coming out with songs, and they were just fucking flopping when it came to the album. You can sell mad ringtones when that album come out. That shit went fucking wood. He said, "I'm hot because I'm fly." You ain't because you not. This is why. Bars. Is why. <laughs> oh, shit. I think that motherfucker had another album, too. Did he? I think. Oh, Restarting up. We ain't ending the show yet. Now we got to look up Mims. Wow. Because I know everybody's wondering what the fuck Mims is. You don't know that song. This is had to be hot. like 08. This is old. Oh, that was it. Seven? Was it 08? I thought it was before that. Either. Oh, it was. Because I was still at Afro Century. Yeah, you was at school with me. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Fuck. Mims discography. Oh, six. Come on, come on. Give me that discography. He had two albums. Oh, Music is Dead. That first, 2007. God the damn. The other album is called Guilt from two years later. Yeah, he went nowhere. He had a song called Move and another one called Love Roller Coaster. So I'm guessing he sampled the Ohio players on that one. Of course he did. How old is he now? <laughs> oh, in February 2010, Mims appeared alongside hip-hop legends Karis One and Red Man on a song entitled How to Be an MC 2010. That's unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> How old is he? He was born in 1981. So okay. 10 years older than us. Yeah. <laughs> it's about that time to get out the game. Right Who's now? another ringtone rapper that put out? Oh, DJ D4L. Oh. D4L. DJ Yeah, Unk. DJ Who Unk. Did, what did DJ Unk do? What was the song he did? Uh, DJ Unk. Oh, hold on. DJ Unk. Hold on. Walk it out. Yes. Walk it out. I walk it out. Yes. Walk it out. Yes. Walk it out. And then the... Is there another one? Yeah. Oh, that, shit. Uh, dropping... No, no, no. Pop, lock, and drop it. Them niggas. That's a dude. That was a dude named Huey, I think. Huey, because yeah. he had another one. Yeah. Pop, lock, and drop it. Yeah. Pop, lock, and drop uh, it. That was a shit in fifth grade. Everyone was doing that. That's another dude that put a song. They're younger than us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck. It was, was a, 11. Damn. Uh, yeah. Huey. Who else? Who you said? D for real. That Laffy Town. Yeah. Uh, it's a franchise boys. I want to say Chameleon there, but not really, but kind of. Yeah. I know that Nelly Grills was one of them. Smile yeah. for me, daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Tell him make me a grill. Yeah, that shit. Trillville. What? Yeah, that's yeah, another yeah. one, yeah. yeah. Your grill got the whole time in the Remember that shit? What was it? Trillville. Trillville. Some cut. Ooh, that's my shit still, <laughs> though. <laughs> Damn. Hey, what it is, huh? Oh, what's up? A little squeaky chair. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Mm-hmm. But that was actually some songs were decent, but they just never put out no other hits other than yeah. that. Like Bone Crusher, that was my shit. Yeah. Never scared. He never really did much else other than that. That was our like sixth grade year. Yeah, that's middle school for sure. Yeah. God damn. That was some good shit. Memories. Yeah. Like I said, that's back then, man. I was like, man, this shit is whack, man. I fuck with other shit. And it's like, now I look back, like, God, it was so much better than it is now. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is so terrible yeah. now. now Should have enjoyed a little bit of it. Right. Like, damn. Uh, all these fucking weirdo drug addict rappers and shit now. All the Lils. The Lils. There are 200 <laughs> Lils on the billboards. I believe right it. Right now. It don't surprise me whatsoever. How? Lil this. Lil that. Lil bitch. Lil fucker. <laughs> Lil hawk. <Hulk>. Lil Tay. <laughs> Lil Tay's a rapper? I guess. Who you fucking lying? That's a little mean. Asian girl, right? I don't know. <laughs> I just know there's a little tape. I think tape. a little tape is a little oh. that goes around with a lot of money tomorrow. You know, like oh, money yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Annoying little okay, bastard. Yeah. Little shit kid. One of them Whoa Vicky type. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's another one. Yeah. Well, shit, we went off on another tangent. We supposed to be ending the show. <laughs> yeah. Fucking talking about ringtone rappers and shit. Mm. I was trying to think of one more good one. Oh, fuck. What? Remember the chicken noodle soup song? There you go. Oh man, that I was like the, they doing that. That was the worst. With the soda on the side. Oh, let it that rain. Was the that was the most like cooning ass song. Now let man. it rain and clear it out. Those are also what I like to call sixth grade dance songs. Yeah. That's all they were. Like I said, y'all grew up running. Yeah. Like when I was, I was older, and I was yeah. like, I was in the old school. I'm like, yeah. fuck this shit. It's my EPMD, motherfucker. Damn, that was it. 
Yeah. You heard this new Mims? My motherfucker, have you heard this Karis One motherfucker? <laughs> like, you heard this Ghetto Boys? This Ice Cube? That like, was the time, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was militant really in that stance. Like, motherfucker, oh yeah, that's when we was going that's up and down it. the hall yelling ball head yeah. hoes and shit. Yeah. What you see, P? What 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 you see, P? I see some ball head hoes. So. <laughs> oh, and they would get mad. Head. Yeah, they would get very mad. They thought we were talking about them, but we were though. Mm, sometimes, we sometimes, were. So, like, sometimes, we sometimes were, the songs we didn't like it. Into the yeah. It'd be like a fucking cartoon. You just see us walking up around them, yelling that shit, and then it just cut to me. And PJ running down the hallway, you see a big stampede of girls chasing us, and she's like, oh shit! That would be funny. <laughs> oh man, we got in this though. It's long as fuck. All right. <laughs> Once again, I'm Brent. And I'm PJ. Thanks for listening. Come back next Friday. Get this hustle on. Damn right. Peace. Peace.